Down to East Coast, played for the East Coast team for quite a few years, won the cup in 07. And um, now back playing senior one um, for the last four years with Newcastle and got a great bunch of guys, great, still enjoying playing. Oh, so, that's yeah. excellent. Yes. And, and what about yourself, Oh, what me? You? Um, well, I have been with the North Stars since ooh, 2009. Um, this is my 10th season. I'm not a player. I <laughs> don't even skate. I'm terrible at skating. Um, but yeah, I've been with the North Stars media team since 2009, just doing what I can, um, you know. So what, what got you interested in hockey? Uh, well, <laughs> the age old tale where, you know, you grow up on the Mighty Ducks yes. and um, you love that. But it was funny, um, my first year of uni, I did a communications degree, journalism, and um, uh, there was a ad that went out and said, you know, we're looking for volunteers for the North Stars. And I was like, wow, okay, okay this is a good way to get experience yep. for doing a bit of media stuff and put my hand up and I've been here ever since. Yeah, Never yeah. left. You've got the taste for hockey. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the speed of hockey, there was a, before we dive into AIHL, there was a big game yesterday. Yes, uh, yes. The Stanley Cup was awarded to the Washington Capitals, it was, which yes. would be a big thing for you, Gav. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, bit I'm, of a Washington Capitals fan. I'm a fan. Washington's fan, yeah. I'm a big um, Nathan Walker fan, like, yeah, for them to sign the first Australian to play in the NHL. And um, so, yeah, I've been supporting them ever since he's been over on them. And yeah, for them to win a cup, um, it really showed their depth. They had four lines really working well all through the playoffs and it was fantastic hockey. And yeah, I was glad they beat Vegas. I didn't want Vegas to come in the first year and, and win the cup. So, yeah. I think it's a, yeah, from like we were talking, um, you know, Nathan Walker. So for those who might not know who Nathan yeah. is, Nathan is actually the first Australian player to play in the a NHL. He um, debuted his season this season, 2017-2018. Yes. He's had a bit of a turbulent year, you know. He, he's played his first game. He got his first goal, goal. in his first Off game. His yep. Off his bum. Off his which is very Australian, yes. I think. Yes. Um, you know, and then he was um, traded, I suppose you could say, yeah. for lack of a better word. Went to the Oilers. Yeah. yeah, traded to the Oilers and, you know, bumped back down and then back to, back Washington. to Washington. Yeah. Uh, played a bit in. Of a strange yeah. trade, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And then he did play in a playoff game and he recorded a point as yep. well. Yes. And, um, yep. Yeah. That's a big point against Penguins yeah. too. Yeah, so. and um, yeah. yeah, and yesterday he didn't play in yesterday's Stanley Cup Championship game. No, he didn't no. get to play, but he still got on the ice. Yeah, he yeah, got on the ice the and yeah. hoisted the cup, and I think that is. He gets a, a ring, as far yes. as I'm aware. He gets a ring. Um, yes, there's been some talk about whether we know he'll get a ring, but whether he'll get his name on that cup. Yeah, and if he gets to bring the cup home, yeah. hopefully to Australia. Well, he's would playing. Be awesome, yeah, so. he's playing in the ice hockey classic that's coming yeah. up um, this month. Actually, in June, he's playing in Sydney and um, Adelaide. Be perfect the, opportunity. Yeah, to do it. so yeah. Ho hopefully there's some organisational gods that'll yeah. align those two things because I think every hockey fan in Australia would oh, flock to see the Stanley I definitely Cup. Think we'd be there. So yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, look, um, we're gonna we yeah like a. So the game, yeah, sorry. <laughs> got some tribute for Nathan Walker, or are we not going to run No, that? not yet. No. So we're going to uh, ask a couple of the guys to um, say a couple of words about Nathan. Yeah. But, you know, as it is with the, the pre-game, pre yeah. the guys get in and they're straight into two-touch yes. soccer. And, yeah, um, yeah, 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 but we do have a couple of interviews for you guys. And um, one of them is we caught up with uh, Import Sam Lawson earlier this week, and we spoke about his experience um, going into, you know, coming so far this season, yeah, yeah. coming to Australia and, and playing for the North Stars. So, um, yeah, we'll have a bit of an interview with, uh, well, a bit of an interview with him. And um, we also caught up with Ray Sheffield, right. um, yep. coach for the North Stars before, before this game today against the Mustangs. So we had a chat with him and we'll have an interview with him. But yeah, good. should be good. Hi, Lucy Vaughan here from the Newcastle North Stars. I'm here with Sam Lawson, one of our forwards. We're going to talk about a game with the Melbourne Mustangs on the weekend. Last game, we won in a shootout 6-5. What are the biggest goals going into the game? Goals going into the game, yeah. No, we were, uh, we were just out there to get hits early. Um, you know, when you're playing the body early in the game, you're going to create a lot of space. Uh, and that's, that was our game plan, and it, it worked out for us. So do you think you're going to be picking up the speed a bit? Because it was quite a 
fast game last time as well. So is, do you think that's a bit of a priority this game? Yeah, I mean, speed, speed's big every game. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of fast players in this league. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to bring our runners to the game. So you've been getting a lot of assists come this season. Do you think you're making some really strong relationships with other players? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, I know with my alignment with Jonesy, we, we played together before here, so uh, we got a little bit of a little bit of chemistry together. So, uh, yeah, hopefully continue that into the weekend too. I hear you guys are a bit of a bromance in the team. Is that true? Uh, a little bit, I guess. So yeah, we're good friends. Absolutely, yeah. So double header at home. What's the hardest thing about a double header? Double header, yeah, just tiring. Uh, hockey's a, a tough game. It takes its toll on the body. Um, so yeah, just about taking care in between the two games. It's a really key key time to um, you know get over the bumps and bruises from the first game and get back at her for the second one. So you've had a weekend off last weekend. Do you think that kind of recharges you, or you lose your momentum a bit? Recharge for sure. I know for me, for instance, had a couple of bumps, bumps and bruises to get over. So I think a lot of the guys are in the same boat, um, just resting up, and, and we're ready to go again now. Thanks, Dan. We're looking forward to seeing you playing the weekend. Great. Thanks, Lizzie. Hi, my name is Mickey Holmes from the Newcastle North Stars. I'm here with Ray Sheffield, the coach of the North Stars. So Ray, on Saturday night we play the Mustangs. Our last game with the Mustangs was incredibly fast paced and they really did seem to dictate the pace of the game. Um, have you guys changed anything in your tactics to sort of prepare for that fast pace? Yeah, actually we have changed a few things. Uh, we took uh, this little break, the All-Star break, to kind of uh, revamp some, some defensive situations and uh, hopefully it will help us out this weekend. Yeah. Perfect. And what are your expect expectations going into the weekend? Uh, another another fast-paced game. Um, close. I mean, uh, both times we played them, it's very, been very close. So, uh, you know, we, we've got to uh, be on our toes. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much and good luck. No problem. Thank you. Um, you just heard from Sam Lawson and North Stars coach Ray Sheffield. Uh, yeah, talking about looking ahead to tw today's game against the Melbourne Mustangs here in Newcastle. And we know that the North Stars weren't overly happy with the, the result from oh, their the last, last game, game yeah. which was a 6-5 shootout win. But yeah, you, we weren't really happy with that um, yeah, result. Yeah, from what I've spoken to Bert and also to Joey, that um, they would have liked the, the outright win on that game. Um, defensively, they were probably a little bit down. You know, they a um, couple of po um, you know defence were pinching where they needed to sort of set back and guard their lead that they had at the time. So, yeah, for a five-five uh, regular time yeah. game and then to go to shootout, Dane played awesome in the shootout. Yes, like Dane, Dane was the standout. Yeah, absolutely. That second save that he made, um, where a big kick save, that was awesome. That really cemented them the chance to win that game. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, so yeah. today I think they'll be looking for a different result. Yes, definitely. They, um, they would certainly like, you know, it's tough for Mustangs to come up here and play at Newcastle. Yep, absolutely. You know, a home ice advantage for us as far as, you know, this is the ice we train on. Mm -hmm. um, they do have glass down there, so they're used to that. Yep. Um, you know, we've got the crowd behind us. Yes, That's a big part of Newcastle. Play, you know, if, if we can keep the big crowds coming to Newcastle and supporting this team, it's only going to help the team. Absolutely. So, um, you know, and the, the other thing that a lot of people that are probably not aware about hockey is that we get the last change. So mm -hmm. Joey, as the coach, he can watch what line Mustang put out and um, he can either match that line or put his strong line out there. So... You know, as a home ice last change advantage, that's something that Joey likes to work on. Yeah, definitely. And um, so, yeah, see how we go today. Yeah. So based on last um, last game we played against the Mustangs, I know, uh, you know, speed was a bit of a factor. Um, you know, we just didn't have the, the speed or perhaps the, even the intensity that we normally do. Yeah. And they did outskate us. We relied really on Dane saving, yep. us, saving us, and us you know, yeah, times. and that was an MVP um, a game for him. He yeah. won the, you know, the hard workers hat. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, obviously today we'll be looking at for the North Stars um, them really bringing, yeah. you know, their, their game today. Yeah, that's right. We want to limit their two on one chances, is what they had. That's where the defense is pinching, mm -hmm. and that puts that two on one situation for that other defenseman. So, try and limit yeah. that, you know, and um, yeah, you know. You know, urgency brings players out in urgent situations. So, you know, let's 
get on their toes, get jumping early and, um, you know, make it tough for Mustangs. Absolutely. But on the flip side, the Mustangs are going to really be bringing oh, yeah. their game. Absolutely. Um, they've know, got some this good is imports. A, yeah, some, they're, some, yeah, their oh, goalie's definitely. an import. This is like a game yeah. where, you know, put, put, we're at the point of the season now where points are really, Absolutely. really starting to matter. Yeah. So every game is really a, a right. must-win game. Um, if Mustang were to win today, they would jump us in the standings. Yeah. So, and, you know, they play against the Bears or the Dogs tomorrow. So yep. one of those teams. So um, this is a must-win for us. You know, we play Perth tomorrow. Yep. So Perth are sitting in second. Well, I think we're sitting in third. third so, yep. yeah, it's a, it's a must-win. You know, every home game is a must-win, basically. Yep. You know, if you can pick up points on the road then that's a plus. But, yeah. yeah, you really want to win your home games. Absolutely. And speaking of the league, um, you know, we're just talking about we've got Brave on top at the moment, yeah. the lead ladder, yeah. then it's, you know, a Perth and then us. But there's a couple of surprising, you know, the Bears are really in that middle yeah. this year. And yeah. traditionally the Bears have been a bit of a cellar dweller yeah. where we've got, you know, Melbourne Ice at the moment That's who are right. usually at the yeah. top. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a really topsy-turvy looking ladder yep. compared to previous years. What do you think that suggests? Uh, I, I know I know the ice is struggling with a few in-house things yep. at the moment. Um, the Bears and the Dogs, they've got some great local yes. talent as well, you know. Like, um, that's a big part of the Newcastle yeah. team this year too, you know. As I spoke with the uh, regarding the NHL as far as depth, and that's what's helping Newcastle. Our third line is really helping out. Absolutely. You know, you, your two top, t top lines are supposed to produce each week, each game. Mm -hmm. And if your third line is producing, that's a bonus for yes, you. Yes, absolutely. So, um, you know, I'm not sure. I haven't really seen many of the Ice Dogs and Bears games myself. Um, but, yeah, I know that's what help, was helping Newcastle at the yeah, moment. Yeah, absolutely. So. And then I, I feel Newcastle really do have an all-rounded roster this season. We're not relying on our imports to score. Yeah, We've got Pat Naden of yeah. Vocal, yeah. who has been relatively quiet um, the past couple of years. Um, he's out there scoring. He's one of our leading yeah, goal scorers. Well, Pat, Pat's a confidence player. Like yeah. Pat, um, he's put on a bit of size and he's grown in age, like yeah. in experience. Um, he's matured, you know, himself. And, you know, confidence is going to allow him to carry the puck more, yeah. not get panicky with the puck and just get rid of it at yeah. every stage. So um, you can see that in the way he's playing. It's, um, and Liam Manwaring. Liam Manwaring is playing well. Liam as well, well. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so... And I know I've spoken to Joey about it and what he's doing with his fourth line and he's injecting those players yeah. when he feels needs. And Timmy Stanger scored a goal last game. Yeah. So, um, you know, when we've got guys like that, of that talent that, yeah. can, that you can do, inject into a game when you need them to, yeah. um, you know, it's... And it really helps. You, you're you not wearing out your imports no, as that's well. Right. And you yeah. can really you play them, them at critical fresh. moments. Yeah. Fresh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're used to two-line hockey, you know, maybe three-line hockey, but... You want to keep them fresh so they're contributing every time they're on the ice. You know, if we get a power play in your special teams on the ice, you want those guys shooting pucks, yeah. scoring goals, you know, trying to capitalise on the when the other team pulls a penalty so that yeah. they try and limit their penalties as such, you yeah. know. So, yeah. And so, yeah, for this weekend, we've got a doubleheader at yeah. home. Today's the Melbourne Mustangs, and oh, guys yep. are on the ice now yep. warming Warm up. Warm-up has started. Is that, what, that, that, that's like 15 minutes before game time signal. Yeah. Yeah, on the ice. But yeah, so like I was just saying, yeah, we've got Melbourne Mustangs today, and then tomorrow, Perth Thunder. And yeah, that's um, always a good clash when the Perth uh, come, yeah, to, absolutely. come to town. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, Perth, as I said, are in second place at the moment, so... That's a big game for us, too. Absolutely. So, yeah, hopefully we can take that out as well. Yeah. Well, we'll be looking closer at that game tomorrow in tomorrow's broadcast. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really good weekend. And Yeah, well, we've yeah. got our post game as well that we'll be doing. Yes, so. exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a little bit more about maybe what we're doing here. So, North Stars Live, we're going to be bringing you, obviously, the pregame show. We're going to do a post game. We're going to do some interviews with players and coaches after the game and just have a chat and run through. But, yeah, during the, during the game, we'll be doing some uh, intermission interviews with players just down by the benches, yeah. so you guys are really getting the most up-to-date insights into the game um, as you're watching it happen, which is, I think is really oh, exciting. It's unreal. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's yeah. really good it, as far as Newcastle being the, the leading people in the media, yeah. you know, as far as what you guys and, and Michael and the whole crew are doing. Yeah. You know, it's fantastic. And, and we've got our commentators for the game yeah. as well, so 
absolutely. Yeah. Peter and Lucy are stepping yeah. up today, so yeah. <laughs> so Pete is one of our most experienced commentators. Yeah. He's been here since he almost day one. Does a fantastic dot. job knowing yeah. every player on the ice. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and Lucy, who is new this season, but yeah. she brings so much, you know, knowledge and. It's great yeah. having females involved yeah. in the sport as well. You know, like I was, yeah. just, I was counting how many um, females yeah. we have on our media team. We're outnumbered, team us men. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we're pretty even, but yeah, yeah equal, a bit of an equal equality going on, but yeah. it's all yeah. based on. Power passion and skill and there's no there's no well, it like, goes to show yeah. you all got the love for the game yes, and, and um, right. it's addictive you know and <laughs> it is yeah, and that's what we want we, we can get um, big crowds to our game get new interest in the game yeah. get young kids wanting to play I'm yeah. involved in the Mites program which is you know our under 10s yeah. as well so that's where it starts, the ground roots, getting people involved in the game and yeah. getting that love for it. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's awesome because we do have the um, the younger kids, you know, get out in the yeah. ice. They go and pick the pucks, pucks. up. Yeah. yeah. So that's, you know, if there's people out there that are interested in hockey and want to see their kids come along, there's opportunities for them to get out there and pick up pucks during this and yeah. be part of the whole organisation. Absolutely. So. And we've even got, you know, our cheerleaders out yeah. there. Which That's is right. always exciting when we score a goal and they're out there dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Well, yeah, so we've, so we've spoken a lot um, about what we think um, the North Stars, well, yeah, what we, how we think today's gonna, game's going to go, but what do you think the North Stars are, are going to bring in, in terms of their, you know, with their game today? Um, yeah, well, you know, as I said before, it's their home game. They, um, they don't want to lose at home. You want to win at home each time, you know. It's so much easier to play at home than what it is to um, to travel. And, um, yeah, so, you know, they'll be trying as hard as they can. Yeah, absolutely. Wrap it up. All right, anyway, we're, <laughs> we're wrapping it up. <laughs> Sorry, I got a couple of minor, oh, okay, yep. <laughs> things uh, in this new yeah. pregame show. <laughs> It'll be a lot more streamlined tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll wrap this one up and we'll be back with you during the intermission and uh, post game. Post game, yeah, for yeah. sure. Good luck. Yeah. See you then. <laughs>
And a save there by Nate Scott. So he's last with a shot yeah. and he scores. And he drives it in, walking in, he shoots and scores. Mustangs, to our first one. It's Rizzi, it's a show and scores. 4-4. Oh. <laughs> Lachlan going to the net, shoot and he scores. Goes to the shot away, Davis makes the save. No, it's in! It's in! First over the lead! Live from Hunter Ice Skating Stadium in Newcastle, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada, who offer the only daily and non stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Omus. Omus are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider. And APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. Hello and welcome on everyone here to Hunter Ice Skating Stadium for this Australian Ice Hockey League game. The Newcastle North Stars and the Melbourne Mustangs playing here tonight with me Lucy Bourne. Welcome Hi Lucy. Hi everyone, it's good to see you here. So Peter and Lucy here on mic tonight. I hope you enjoyed our pre-game show, our first ever uh, big step forward for the AHL, I think. So we've got an exciting game here tonight. Uh, back again, the yeah, Melbourne Mustangs. Game. Yeah, so our last game before the All-Stars game was against the Mustangs. Mm -hmm. They're straight back. I yep. don't know how they feel about that. But the last game we lost, six, sorry, we won in the shootout, 6-5. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes today. It was a thrilling game. It was. It, the lead changed uh, yeah. a lot. Uh, it was a real arm wrestle and people here really got enjoyed it. Yeah, a it was really, game. really back and forth as well. Yeah, very close. And we could expect more of the same. A couple of changes. We noticed uh, Mustangs have substituted one of their uh, import players. So we've got uh, uh, Pat O'Kane returned to the team. And uh, Brett Ferguson is out tonight, who I thought was fantastic last time, but yeah. we always expect a lot out of Pat too, yeah, so definitely. that's a big change for the Mustangs. As you were saying, he's a bit of a leader for the team as well, so it makes yeah, sense to yeah. have him here. But maybe they just wanted to give all the imports a bit of time to enjoy mm. their time. All right, we'll just pause for a minute for the uh, anthem. That was Candice on the microphone there, so actually one of our wives and girlfriends. Yeah, she does a great job. Yeah, so doing the national anthem for us, and sounds great. Uh, we've got 15 minutes on the clock. We're about to start this AHL game. Looking forward to this big time. It's the first time that we have had a fully live broadcast now since last August. So it's been a long time coming. We had a couple of Fox Sports games first, and then we had one game where we had a few people away. We couldn't do it last time. The last Mustangs game, we got the audio out instead. But uh, this time, we got the full show. So it looks like, I think it's Darren, Darren Hardy Hawkins doing uh, refereeing tonight. And I saw, I think it was Nick and Dan yep, it is. on lines Nick tonight. And, Dan and in goal tonight. Looks like Dane Davis down the far end. Hopefully I got him right this time. And, uh... Well, Toivonen was on, but he's got the hap on, so I assume it's Petri Pickinen. Yeah, Petri's out there uh, starting for the Mustangs, which I expected, because they're not playing Brett Ferguson, otherwise he would be playing as the other import. So we're about to have the face-off. And who's taking it? It's Ben Davies, the Brit. He's going to take it. Gets the North Stars, and we're about to get underway here. Puck has dropped, and the puck has gone to Matt Lindsay, number three, for the North Stars. Newcastle trying to break through the zone. They do chip it in, and it's out of play, though, so we're going to stop a play with just 10 seconds gone so far in this game. Very quick start. Well, quick start. 
quick stop. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of play before we had a little rest. Yeah. Face off one by Newcastle. That's Sam Lawson playing centre there. So already a change of lines for Newcastle. Into the zone they go. A quick shot and a save by picking it with the pads and into the corner it goes. Lawson pursuing that, but the Mustangs have control behind their net. McCoy with the puck. He'll hand it off. He's hit hard by Lawson. Into the boards, and he's a little slow to get up. He was trying to get out of the way of the linesman there, and I don't think he got to take brace himself very well. Into the zone, and he's lost the puck. Newcastle will get that out. To the neutral zone they go. We've got a good rush going here forward. Pressure from the defence. Sent wide. Tasarik scored that goal from their last game, and he's hit hard, and Bit of a wrestle in the corner. And I think is it Tasarik being called for that one? So Brad Apps has lost his lid and uh, Tasarik's been called for the holding. hit. For holding. Oh, okay. So must they're out of our vision here and they're down um, the people in front of us so we couldn't see what was going on. Big start though. Lots of intensity mm. coming and, out. And uh, straight straight away uh, we've talked we've heard Joey Terrio talking about they want to play a Canadian game. They want to play a North American game. Yeah. Which involves hitting and we've seen that straight away making a physical presence it's part of the game face off and it's a bit of a scramble as the puck is lost in feet and it's picked up by Newcastle now they're in their own end they'll chip it out and it goes under the stick of Erzin and out for picking the pick up he makes a good pass fortunately for him not to Erzin and Mustangs are retained possession Pat Naden getting involved and with a hit there on number 24 Mitch Humphreys that is thrown in deep by the Mustangs and they're putting pressure in Newcastle's end as they're on this power play. Around the boards they go. Keeping it wide. Battle for the puck. Mustangs have it. They've been kept wide though by a regressive penalty kill by the North Stars. 13.26 remaining in this first period. There's 1.18 net at this moment on that penalty clock. Power play continues for the Mustangs. Anderson hands it off, it's gone down low. Mustang still working on the right side to Davis. Newcastle though, push it out over the line and it's going to be offside so Newcastle will get to push it forward and they come into the zone. Rick, Nick Reve goes wide, he tries to pass inside for Liam Wearing and actually collides with Reve as they've gone deep. Now they have to hustle back because Mustangs have the numbers. In they go. Nice pass for Yasov. Takes a shot, no, can't get away. Now he goes in a cute angle and that's stopped. And we're going to stop a play with 12.46 left in the first. Pat Nader was doing a really awesome job there of keeping those players held up, keeping them near, we're trying to get them to lose possession and knock it out of the zone. But we have another player sent off. So that's Liam Van Waring. Van Waring's been called, so it's going to be a short uh, 41 seconds of 5-3 and three here for the Mustangs. So that's going to make it tough for the North Stars here to keep a clean sheet. Opportunity for the Mustangs with 12.46 is 41 seconds as I said in that first penalty, then they'll have another. Uh, that was a deflection, I believe, off a stick. Mustangs are calling for a penalty, I think, to get it on that. I didn't actually see no, how they it's think got they out call, there. The linesman said it's deflected. Yeah. No. We can't really no, waste time when it's stop time anyway. Oh, oh no. It was called the delay of game. Right, so we're, this is going to be a long period now of 5 on 3 for the Mustangs. So, huge opportunity to score not one but two goals. That's right, we'll just keep them out. So 38 seconds before the first one starts to count down. That's out of the zone. So we've got two or well three consecutive penalties here against the North Stars. They'll be with down two men for a long period here. Walking the blue line. Setting up the umbrella here. So must, of course the North Stars, North Stars are only with three. So they'll try and keep a triangle and keep plays that side chance in front. And it's picked up by the North Stars and they'll shovel it down ice and go for a change. Which they'll need to keep fresh players out there. And the first penalty is about to expire. And we'll have 120, or oh, about 118 left uh, till we count down to 5 on 4. Quick shot on net by the Mustangs. Goes wide. That was 52 Nick Kalitnikovs, who featured in his first game here last time he was here a couple of weeks ago. 
Mustang still working outside. Shot from a cute angle. Stopped by Davis. Defenseman desperate. Quick shot on net and it was wide. Flashing the block there was Davis and it's out of the zone. Yeah, oh, it just, just went on the blue line. It must have been just on the blue paint. Still working the blue lines. Klusikovs takes a shot. Knocked down by Davis. 123. It's 41 seconds, 40 seconds, 39 now of this first penalty before we go to 5 and 4. So, tough start for the North Stars. No scoring yet, though. Still nil all. 115 left in the first. Mustangs into the zone. Vyasov has it. He'll button hook. He's looking for someone inside. He goes to the top of the umbrella. Stepping in is, is that 25? Can't, oh, it, no, I can't pick the number. He's partially obscured, sorry. 13. Yeah, I've got uh, Vyasov on the outside now. Mustang still kept the outside. Desperate penalty kill here by the North Stars with just a three. And there's one second of that left, so we're about to get a player on the ice. We're down to five on four now. So I've been wearing, quickly jumping in. They're forming a four-man box, which will make it a little bit easier to kill this penalty. Shot on net and a deflection off the North Stars, and they're out of the zone. So a chance for some tired legs to change. 23 seconds remaining in that last penalty, and North Stars have a full change done. And fresh legs on the ice. 10.20 left in the first. Into the zone comes the Mustangs. Another button hook by Vyasov. He'll hand it off to Anderson. Kept in on the outside by the North Stars. This is a huge thing if they can kill all this. Five seconds left. Mustangs kept on the outside still. Lawson working hard to keep him out in close. Back to five on five, but the North Stars still under pressure here. Well, Mustangs hold possession. Puck bounces around, but here comes the North Stars. They got the puck and into the zone they go. It's Jones who looks, goes inside, yeah. scores! Oh, about that. Three penalties. They kill him off and immediately score. 9.47 left in the first, and what a start for the North Stars. That was amazing. Just got it in. You nearly, like, you watch him go down, you think he's not going to get it, he's not going to get it, but he just magically gets it in there. That was some serious dominance from the North Stars in our zone, though. That was incredible work killing yeah. that penalty. Uh, that was so tough to have three in a row, and then quickly to score just seconds after it expired. Yeah, definitely a big difference from last game when you see when you see how it's quite a high scoring game against the Mustangs. We really have picked it up and pushed them out really hard, which is great to see. Backhander there from Zane Jones as he came in and Drew Pitkinen to his left and scored on the far side. That took quite a shot. Back underway, North Stars have the face off one into the zone. Pursuing is Hacharik. He takes Robertson into the boards. Down low, Newcastle working. Hachari tries the short side. It's off Pickman's back hit. He had it covered, and it's gone behind the net. Reve under pressure. Shakes off a check. Moving in front. Hachari tries the centre for, for Lander coming in, but uh, cut off by the, uh, the Mustangs' defence. Lander bumped by Robertson, who's chopping it here with the uh, stick. Mustangs trying to break in. They get a good pass to Ben Davies. He takes a shot, but it's deflected, or is it going straight to Davies? No. It deflected, but they, it's were, deflected, they yeah. lost sight of it. So they've I lost it. sight of it too. Yeah, I think it bounced up behind the net. These must, the Mustangs do break out hard, though. You definitely see, which was a hard thing about that penalty kill, is you don't want to you want to get it out of the zone, but you don't want to give them the time to break out really well as well, mm -hmm. because they gain a lot of speed. They do. So got a great transition. Yeah. Back underway, Mustangs win this face off, put a bit of pressure in North Side's end, but it's been chipped out and they'll head back to retrieve it. Right now it's Polizikovs, he'll send it forward and it's just gone past the stick of Humphreys. So Newcastle now trying to bring it forward, but it's gone to Polizikovs and Pat Naden puts pressure on him. Polizikovs needs some teamwork here and he gets it now with Humphreys into the zone, he'll look inside, he'll take a shot and it's blocked away by Davis. Newcastle skating on the puck. We've got a contest for it, and driving for it is the Jester, 71. Puck is loose, Naden will keep it in. Good work there, and Humphreys is there too. And it's chipped out by the Mustangs for Hayden Sheard to retrieve. Mustangs going for a change, North Stars a partial change. Chance for Hazelhoff, Hazelhurst, pardon me, Hazelhoff. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a small Hazelhoff, isn't he? <laughs> Shot on it and a tricky one for Pickin uh, Pickin as it slowed down as it went along. It got touched. 
Lawson battles down low against two or three orange and white jerseys, but it's going to be the Mustangs breaking it out. It is 25. I don't have 25 on my list. Uh, oh, it's Michael McMahon. I should know that one. And a stop of play by Davis for 7.52. Very exciting start here. And I Lucy. think that's Hazelhurst in the net as well. He's definitely a committed defender. He always wanted to be a goalie. <laughs> Just didn't quite have the size for it. Uh, I've seen some small goalies have been yeah. fantastic. They move side to side so well. So, yeah, they need to because they don't have the long legs. But, yeah, no, you do see some great uh, little guys in goal. I know the standard these days is tall and skinny. Oh, that was nearly a breakaway pass there on the stick of Jones. He's going to try a slap shot, and he does. But Pickering will cover that. And it's picked up by Jack McCoy. Piazza will skate onto it. He goes up the right wing, looking inside. He's got some help there from 49 Anderson. And the puck is in neutral ice. Jones will just touch it and skating onto it. I think it's Hunt Nacharik. No, it's Sam Lawson, 22. And I've got 55 here, so it's a bit problem for... Uh, those numbers are pretty close. <laughs> Newcastle under pressure here, trying to break out. Pat O'Kane working hard to keep him honest. Jones chips it in, and skating after it is Lander. He got the stick up near with the check there, and he kept it out of the way, but he could have been called, so it was a bit fortunate there. I think maybe a bit of credit in the bank for the North Stars after being called for three consecutive ones earlier. No penalties yet for the Mustangs. Quick shot and a save by Davis. These two players know each other well. It was a beautiful shot right onto his pads there, so good for Dane to get his feet a bit. Nice save. These boys are coming out hard, though. Both teams are really, really high intensity. So if it continues like this, it's going to be a really exciting game. Oh, we expected that. Last game was a cracker. Yeah. Going down right to a shootout at the end. And uh, even that last uh, equalising goals from the Mustang, from the Mustangs was... Um, look, it just didn't give up that game. It was high intensity, high speed, both directions. Definitely. And I think that all-star, having the all-star game last week can give every, gives everyone a bit of a chance to recover get their feet back. I know some of these guys, all well, the Newcastle guys had a training off as well, so it gives them a bit, of a bit of time to recharge and recover from some injuries that our team had as well. I've well, seen a fair few shifts out of uh, Sam Lawson, who really yeah. didn't play last game. He only had a few shifts. He had problems with the, his uh, knee, which he, he was told, just give it a chance to heal, be ready in two weeks, and that's what he's done. I saw athletes. the guys up in uh, Byron Bay enjoying a bit of a break up there. Tossed in deep by Matt Stringer, and Mustangs will regain the puck down low. But good pressure from the North Stars. Attempted shot doesn't make it through, and it's battled away by Davis. Mustangs have possession. Oh, no, it's Newcastle possession oh. now. That was a pretty big trip and not seen. Accidental trip, but I think uh, Don Hardy Hawkins was turning around at the time and missed it. Very awkward position to trip as well, right in front of Yeah, it was right next to the goal. Yeah, uh, was trying to get really squeezed in next to the goal there. Newcastle keeping in the zone. That was M Martini, and handing it off is Pat Naden, but the Mustangs are breaking up, and watch out for Ben Davies. He's got heaps of speed. He lines up a shot. He's got a bit of uh, stick check to contend with, so he goes behind instead. He'll try to centre, but it's cut off by the defence. So Newcastle boxing out. Mustangs still working the outside, putting some pressure on now. McMahon will hand it off. Down low to Davies. Mustangs getting some time behind the net, but they've lost the puck to Hazelhurst. Pass inside. Off the skate for, I think it's Hayden Sheard. Yes. Anderson will skate onto it, though, and the Mustangs move forward. The five minutes click, uh, clicks away. We'll find the final five, the final third of this period. Hazelhurst will stop him. And Newcastle will, will break it out the other direction. Coming across is, is uh, Hachari. No, it's Jones. Stick check from McMahon. Jones will send it back for Lawson. Shields the puck. Moving in close. Driving the net. And to pushed away there with a nice stick check by picking it. And we got a penalty. I think it was on to the Mustangs. Yeah. Or is it... See who's called? 
Yep, so the Mustangs, it was for um, Hooking and Valley Shot. RBS off Green Court. So the first power play for the North Stars coming up after the Mustangs had three. All at the same time, pretty much, earlier in the period. Just yeah. I saw no goalie and I had a little heart attack, but then I realised it's because they had a penalty. They were waiting to call a penalty. <laughs> O'Kane versus Acharik. A couple of very nice blokes, both Americans. And Newcastle wins that one. Reve, Newcastle's top scorer right now, gets it to Malloy, captain. Moves in close. Quick shot attempt by Jones. He'll get it away to Reve, who's been playing some forward lately. Normally a defenceman, but um, Newcastle had more D than they've had spots, so he's been playing some good forward as well. And him and Johar Chark have a really good... Yeah, they're actually good, good friends as well, so that helps. And good they live chemistry. together. Oh, nicely on. cut off by McCain. He can't get away clean. He's got a foot race with Malloy. Spinorama move and a great way to kill a penalty. What a great move by O'Kane. Into the zone. Pass inside, nice pass. Hachari can't get around Erzin, so the Mustangs will head it back the other way. It's no, it can't get a better way to kill penalties and taking shots on net, and that's stopped by Davis. And the stop of play with 3.40 left and 106 left in that power play for the North Stars. It's a very, really big shot we're seeing, except we're not having many shots through the middle lanes for either team. So it's good to see that both Ds are pushing our players wide. We're doing the same for the Mustangs. But they're the hard goals to score because mm. you haven't got those really prime opportunities. Face off. Newcastle win that and they're going forward they get immediately. So they want it forward and sort of back. Lima Waring has, has the puck stick checked away so Matt Lindsay will recover. And he's pressured by Ben Davies. Now it's going to Hazelhurst and now Newcastle going to try the left wing. No, they're going right across the ice to the right wing into the zone. Sam Lawson gets it back from the point. In front is Naden, having his best career year ever. Shot on net through the screen, saved by Pickin and it's loose though, and it's going to be picked up. I think it's Davies. Yep, number five. Now to Kalisikovs. Long pass right on the stick of Davies. Slick play of this Brit, and he's offside into the zone, and there's stop of play with 23 seconds left in this power play for the North Stars. Ben Davies is definitely really dominant out there for the Mustangs today. He's their second leading goal scorer, so he's had, a, he's had 11 goals so far. He just comes out with such power and intensity. When you see him go towards even a player where you know they're going to dump it out, he still butts, he still like goes really hard to get in there and try and intimidate them as much as he can. Face off. Puck bounces back to Newcastle defence. They're going to break it out into the zone they go. It's off a skate though, so a little bit difficult for for Tommy Lanner to pick up. But he does have control and Hacharik's there to help out. Hacharik moving in, gets it to Lanner at the half board. It's gone under the stick though and out of the zone. So Newcastle will need to reorganise. Reve hands it off to Jones, but Mustangs keep winning it back because it wasn't a clean pass. Let's get onto it is Malloy. We'll go to his D partner and they're going to break out of the Newcastle zone. In they come to the Mustang zone. Reve cross ice pass. Quick move by Jones. Gets a shot away but it's off the stick and up in the netting for a stop of play. And that's the end of that power play. We're seeing some really strong breakaways from, you, from the North Stars as well. I saw a lot during training they did breakaway after breakaway after breakaway. And you see it's starting to pay off which is good. And these guys are really starting to get in their groove together because we have all different lines to what we've had in previous years pretty well. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see them get in that pattern and get those really strong, accurate passes in. Face off. And it's a bit of a scramble and we've got a couple of players caught up in each other. That's Powell and McMahon. They have to retrieve sticks down Newcastle's end and that puck goes dangerously close to the Newcastle net but Davis doesn't have to make the save as it goes out the other side Mustangs now under pressure in the neutral ice and into the board Sam Lawson up against their uh, Jack McCoy McCoy has it again keeps it in at the blue line no he doesn't it's been pushed forward in neutral ice and Newcastle has skated forward to Sarek scored last time from there he won't this time McMahon is waiting for him at the dot McMahon versus Tasarik again. McCoy. So those guys played Tasarik and McMahon played with each other for the Australian team recently. Davies with an elbow into the back of Tasarik. He didn't like that much. Tasarik a little bit gives a little bit back, and none of these have been called. So I, it's one of them has been called. I don't know who's going to get it. It's a hold 
holding call on... There could have been a few there that were missed. Davies might have been the call... Davies might have been annoyed that something was done before that. But so <laughs> the two guys were doing the most there. didn't get called. Yeah. It's been McMahon who called in the end. So it's actually McMahon's 50th game today as well. Congratulations. Yeah, Michael great McMahon. achievement. Yeah. That so was inopportune time. Inopportune time to bring it up as the edge of the penalty yeah. for two minutes. Of sh <laughs> two minute penalty box. Uh, two minutes in the penalty box of shame. Oh, I wouldn't call it shame in ice hockey. No, nah. when you're a defenseman, <laughs> every penalty is justified. Definitely. Yeah. But Yasov wins it back to Picklinen, who's wary and dispatches it quickly. Land and bumps Erzin hard. They're back up and running. Jones in front of the net. Lander looking to pick him off. Jones moved out. He gets it now. Back to Lander. Tries to get it out the other side to Reve, who was waiting, but Humphrey was there to run some interference. That's touched by the Mustangs as the pass intercepted. And they're going to rag some time here. Erzin now dispatches it up the board, bounces it, tries a brilliant shot there to hit Mitch Humphreys. Into the zone come the North Stars, but if you yes up first to it, you'll steal the puck. And he's going back the other way. Gets the puck in front, close, and that's cleared it. Oh, Davis is hit hard by his own player, and he's down. I think it was Lando who banged into him, and they uh, both went into the net, and Davis going to have to shake that off. That was a hard hit. Yeah, Lando's a pretty solid guy yeah, as sure well. Is. I wouldn't like to have him running into me. He's uh, about six foot tall, but he's very, like, very solid for his size, like he's tight and yeah. very broad uh, chested and, and across the shoulders and all, and yeah, he's got a bit of muscle behind him. He's a tough guy as well, you saw in a, um, one that of the Melbourne game against the Mustangs. Yeah. yeah, was that when he sliced his face? Yes, he had his face sliced open, that was three weeks ago. Lots of Mustangs games lately. We have had, yeah, this is three out of the four total. Um, so, uh, Physio, Olivia's been on to check on him and is okay, so she'll be let off and we'll be back underway. So there's 36 seconds left in the power, in the period. There's 119 remaining of this power play. So North, North Stars will get a little bit in the next period if they don't score here. Glove by Davis. He'll put it down for Hazelhurst to pick up and his skate away. Kicks off his skates as he temporarily loses track of it. Nice skater, isn't he? The way he moves. Just a transition as he handles the puck there. Liam and Waring will keep it in the zone. No, it's gonna need, you're gonna need help from from the uh, little guy, and a nice redirect from Lawson is cut off by Pickenin. In the battle, the battle goes to the corner. We've got a Kane versus Naden, kept in the blue zone at the blue line by the North Stars, and that'll do the period. So at the end of the first period, Newcastle North Stars one, the Mustangs zero. We had lots of penalties. Definitely lots of penalties. Three against Newcastle, two against the Mustangs. So at the end of this first period, we've got a 1-0 game. But that one goal scored by the North Stars immediately after they killed three penalties. Yeah. So that's a huge um, that's a huge win for the North Stars. One, to kill off all those penalties. And then two, to immediately score on the expiration of those penalties. So uh, I'll leave it to you to wrap the period. What do you think? So we've seen a lot of, we've seen a lot of contact, which is really great to see but not so much anything dirty. We've had that little bit of a tussle where that player got sent off for holding, but all the penalties have kind of just been like, yeah, it's happened, we'll move on. So right. it's good to see that they're not getting caught up in, like, as much as it's fun to watch a game where they get caught up in Emotional the game, really? yeah. emotional factor. No, yeah. They've been very business-like penalties. Yeah, <laughs> it has been, and they've kind of just been a bit unlucky sometimes as well, like the delay of game, but with, I think we're going to see both teams come out really hard. Yeah. North Stars are going to try and really solidify that lead, because last game we had the two-point lead, and they kind of snapped back up on us. Yes, yeah, so well, that was... Uh, I talked to the, some of the players after the game. Yeah. Uh, I had some of the Mustangs hang, hang around too, which was great. Uh, but from the... I talked to Bert Malloy, for example, and he was a bit disappointed. Uh, he thought that they had lapsed, that they'd let the, the Mustangs come back in. Uh, I, from my memory, some of those goals were somewhat incidental. You know, they, yeah. they weren't due to a single act or a single piece of negligence or a single mistake. Yeah. They were a combination of things of, of uh, good fortune and good play and good positioning, all those sort of things. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, you think, for how, how are we going to relate this to the second period? What are you expecting? 
Um, I'm expecting a lot more contact. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because yeah. they've been lots of big hits. Yeah. I think also some probably some really strong shots from the Mustangs because they're going to try and push really hard to get in deep and try and get back in that middle lane. Mm -hmm. So maybe put another guy in the slot, have yep. another... Because I've had mainly a guy in the low slot, but no one in the high slot. Right. So maybe sit someone a bit higher, have someone waiting there for that pass and push hard in for it. I think part of that is... I think part of this is um, the North Stars have done a, a really good job of keeping people on the outside, the defence. Yeah. So that's the combination of the centre coming back hard. Really good back check from the North Stars. I've heard the uh, commentators in Melbourne comment on the same thing. I remember Jeff mentioned that when they played the ice, how hard they came back to, to back check. Yeah, and you've seen your wingers kind of really cover that to cover that demon as well. So they're not, they're not an option anymore. Whereas you see when we're in the Mustang zone, you often see Hazelhurst open and he's, he's got a dangerous shot. Mm -hmm. And even Matt Lindsay, and you know that once they're in there, you're gonna, you've got to be really careful because they're going to put that hard shot on yep. and it's going to be unexpected. And we, Or even those bump in shots because we saw one with Sam Lawson just then yeah, where it touched. came from quite wide yep. and the goal only just had it. Yep. Well, pickenden has been great. Davis has been great. He's had a couple yeah. of tough saves uh, this period. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether David actually com Davis comes back out because he seemed a little bit shaken up, kind of. So <laughs> you won't stop Dane Davis getting out there. <laughs> he's a tough cookie. <laughs> if his head's still attached, he'll yeah. still be out there. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a Quebecois. Is they're much they're pretty hard. They're tough guys. Yeah, they're yeah, hard definitely. to stop. Uh, so com some key players for we mentioned the two goalies. They're obviously key players for this period. Yeah. Uh, who do you think uh, is going to feature in this second period? Um, I think we're probably going to see, so with the North Stars, our kind of third line has Pat and Shane Southard and Liam Manwaring, yep. and we're seeing those guys really push through. So those lines got a bit torn up at the start with mm -hmm. the penalties, yep. so we kind of missed the opportunity to see them when they were going in hard, mm -hmm. but I think we'll see a lot of action for them, particularly Pat and because mm -hmm. it's been going really hard this season, it's his best season yet, yep. but also McMahon and Davies on the Mustangs, I think they're definitely a bit of a threat. And they kind of sneak up a bit. They're, yeah, they're yeah, always they're players. always around. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely a lot of experienced players, and both teams are playing really smart in that sense. And we're doing our penalty kills, and when the Mustangs were as well, they're putting out those experienced players, and mm -hmm. less so like the really reactive players. Yeah. So you had like Rob Hazelhurst out there, Thomas Lander, who all have played for a really long time. Yeah. Really experienced players. So I think they'll be ones to watch. I agree. You uh, brought up. Um something uh, I'm only really seeing two lines from the Mustangs most of the time yeah. where North Stars are definitely rolling three in fact that third line which you mentioned Pat and Aiden uh, uh, Liam and Waring yeah. they're putting a lot of pressure on so um, they might tie the Mustangs as we go along yeah. North Stars have that really good depth this year which they didn't have last year um, and that's showing when that third line is scoring better than the second line I think yeah, that's I think we've established that so uh, yeah, and we've got the fourth really line as well. So we're playing yes. four lines with the Mustangs are playing three. That's right. So well, at the moment it's been two or two and a yeah. half. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen the third line out there. I think yeah. that's part of the having the associate coaching as well this mm -hmm. year for the for the North Stars. We've noticed previously where you've had the one head coach and your assistant coaches where you we've been focusing on having two really core dominant lines. Yeah. Whereas now we're allocating roles to different lines and we're finding the strengths of the players that we have mm -hmm. and really focusing on developing those as well. Well, North Star's got a bit of a uh, an embarrassment of riches this year. With uh, We've had three great players come up from the Bears. Uh, we picked up Rob Hazelhurst, Dave yeah. Davis back. Like, that's a massive amount of depth to bring Definitely. in your team. And that's what it does give you is that suddenly you're not just a scoring threat on your first line or your second line. But now we're at third line and even fourth line. Uh, We've got to Hamish Powell, and he scored a couple of gear goals yeah. this year. He scored a couple last year. He scored uh, the game winner um, in overtime against the Perth Thunder the year before to, to get us into the uh, Quarter Cup final. Yeah. So, yeah, these are guys that can produce all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, just wrapping up the first period, at the end of the 15 minutes, we've got the North Stars with one goal and the Mustangs on zero, but great period, end-to-end -end action. Looking forward to being here, Lucy, for the second period. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Everyone, Ellie here. We're in the first intermission, and I'm joined by North Stars coach Ray Sheffield. We're just going to have a bit of a chat about that first period. Ray, we really came out strong in that uh, that first period. We know the boys are delivering a couple of big hits up on that ice. 
but we did have three penalties within three minutes, which is not ideal. Run us through what happened there. Well, actually, I'm not sure uh, why we ended up in that situation. We we came out prepared to uh, to play, and um, but uh, yeah, the boys just got uh, I guess a little bit behind the, the eight ball and a little bit slow and had to take some penalties, which unfortunately uh, or fortunately for us, we killed them. But uh, yeah. And as soon as Zane came out of the uh, Zane Jones came out of the box, though, he scored, which was you know putting us in the lead 1-0. Are you pretty happy with that so far? You're ahead. <laughs> yeah, happy that we went out ahead, but we didn't really execute what we wanted to execute. So we've got to make some changes, and uh, I think we're a little bit selfish. So the guys got to start thinking about playing defense and not just scoring goals. So running, uh, coming into the game this week, what were you focused about? Uh, that was really it, playing good defense, um, making sure that we didn't get caught in odd man situations. And uh, we've had that happen a few times in this game so far. And, and uh, we've definitely got to make some changes so that, that that doesn't happen. They can't take advantage of it. So there, was that something you were talking about in the locker room just before about you know sticking to what you've had planned for the uh, for this game and um, really working on your defense or keeping it up, I suppose. Exactly, exactly. And it's more uh, you know defense starts in the offensive zone. So as soon as the puck's turned over, you got to start, you got to switch switch your mindset. And and the boys just uh, you know doing a little bit too late. So we've got to got to fix that up. What about some positives from um, that period? Anything you are taking out of it that you are quite happy, um, you know, that you're yeah, taking from that first period? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we walked away with the lead, which is great, and uh, our, our penalty kill was awesome. Um, we managed to kill off three penalties there uh, consecutively, and, and um, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I think we played okay in the defensive zone, but it's just those odd man rushes that are killing us, and uh, we can't let them take advantage of that. So. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, Ray. And we'll be back after the second period and the second intermission interview.
squeeze it. It's a show and scores! 4-4! Oh. Four, four. <laughs> Lachlan going to the net, shoot, and he scores! And towards Cox, goes to the shot away, Davis makes the save, no, it's in! It's in, first over the lead! Live from Hunter Ice Skating Stadium in Newcastle, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. OMIS. OMIS are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider. And APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. Hi everyone, welcome back. Second period's on the way. Sorry we missed the first 30 seconds. It was an important 30 seconds, I'm sorry to say, because the North Stars have scored on the power play and it's now 2-0. Quickly though, the Mustangs are on the counter and we're back in Newcastle's end. This clean ice sheet here in the second period. So yeah, it's a 2-0 lead there. North Stars scoring there in the first 10 seconds. Now they've got another chance as the, uh, as the Jester goes down in low. At Shane Southwood. He'll try and get the puck away. Mustangs put the net back on as their man has the puck. So quickly in that beginning of that second period, just seconds in, North Stars have scored. Hazelhurst with the puck. Sheard with it now. He battles with is it Humphreys? Yes. 24 Humphreys. Gets a shot that goes behind the netting and out the other side to Kalitnikovs, quick shot on net, doesn't make it through the screen, deflection is saved by Davis, a second oh. chance, and another new chance for Humphreys, can't get past the D or the net. That was an incredible save by Dane. That was great, just hanging out the arm, and he's going back to retrieve his paddle. Mustangs into the zone now, quickly putting some pressure on, they need to after being down by two, so... Backhand attempt there by McCoy. He goes off a skate and a stop of play. Goals are off. Have a look on. We're ready to go to the replay of the goal. So we'll see it uh, on screen. Here we go. New stars on the power play. And a goal. Gets them ahead 2 0. Zane Jones, that's who it was. J J Jones, the scorer. Newcastle now on the attack as we resume play. Jones again. Newcastle working around to Sarek, taken down, and he'll have to hustle back as the Mustangs break into the Newcastle zone. Bumped off the, the puck there. Nice check by Lindsay on Anderson. Puck bounces to the captain, McCoy. Pardon me, not McCoy, McMahon. Anderson with the puck now. We'll spin about. And a bit of a ghost pass there by to McMahon. He'll skate onto it though. Malloy waits for him. Lawson dispatches it. It goes past Malloy, so he's going to need some help. And he does a long pass run. The stick of hard traffic. He comes in close, shoots, and a save by Pickenden in front of the net and cleared by the Mustangs. But they're under some pressure here. Stringing across though is 21. I think it's that Brad Apps. It is Brad Apps. Newcastle now, Tommy Lander down low, in zone, gets it across in front, but there's only white jerseys there, and the Mustangs will bust out of their zone, into the corner as it goes, I think is waved off, Davis gets the puck, chips it away, but Brad Apps in the corner, Hacharik with the puck right now, he's got support from, from Ferrari, Hacharik, no it's gone past him, no, no it's not, so I thought Lander had it there for a moment, Ferrari throws it down ice. <coughs> North Stars will need to retrieve it. Paddy Ward gets a touch. Now Kane, it goes past him. Ferrari can't find it. A clash between O'Kane and Ferrari. And Ferrari comes in hard oh. against O'Kane and they're swapping sticks at the moment. Oh. Ferrari. <laughs> he's I, think he's, I think he's been called for it. He's kind of way, thrown the glove as if, well, he wasn't going to say to fight him, but it no, was... No, it was kind of like a, a flick a, and a... It was like a it wasn't throwing angry, handbags or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get it, but... Yeah, I think it's been called for it, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, they're both swapping timber. I don't think it was particularly effective for yeah. what it was aiming to do, but that's okay. 
Well, he's given away a penalty, Dave, so it's probably worked out for the Mustangs. Because yeah. uh, Peter Keane's going to take a seat, and so will Dave Ferrari, but it's just a power play opportunity for the Mustangs coming up. 11.05 left in the second. It's a 2-0 lead for the North Stars, so important power play for the Mustangs. Dan Bora drops the puck, and Mustangs have possession. They keep it in the zone. On the blue line it goes, kept in. Klisnikov's been a very handy addition to this team. I've seen his, assist, his assistance to the breakouts has been great for the Mustangs. Lands some beautiful passes. Reve playing some D at the moment on the power, on the penalty kill, and Jones down deep, and he's going to win the battle for that puck. Well, no, he's not. Mustangs have got it. And it looks like the speed of Davies. It is Mr. Number 5. Yep. yep. Up against, so we've got a Northern Englishman versus a Scotsman there. Shot on it, redirect, saved by Davis and cleared by Paddy Ward. Blue line smothered Jones is all over Kalisnikovs. Similar size though, big Latvian fella. End of the zone he goes, he waits, he takes a shot and it's straight to the stick of Reve who's going to just backhand it out. Gets a bump from Robertson who's doing a bit of the f checking duties for the Mustangs. Some really messy checks, kind of like they're not quite ready. Yeah, a bit broken up, but not clean mid ice. Off the skate of Lindsay, and he'll get around Davies into the zone. He goes, just trying to carry it forward and get his team organized or give him some time to change. And they are all changed. Malloy, men wearing covering for Lindsay. Malloy sends O'Kane wide. Apps gets it down low. Chance save Davis on Davis. Davies. Davies, Davis. Davies. David. <laughs> Them dudes. Yeah. <laughs> 9.32 left in the period, Lucy. Yeah, so it's definitely been... It seemed a little bit slow in the last couple of minutes. Not so much slow, but a bit messy. Like, a few of those guys have been out for probably two or three minutes when yep. it came to that penalty kill. We've got to remember this is a penalty kill for North Stars too, so is yeah. good for them for the most part. Yeah, Unless definitely. it's around the net. <laughs> yeah, just keep it away from the net and we'll all be happy. Yeah. Hacharik will face off against Vyasov, and Hacharik wins it, and quickly dispatched by Malloy down the far end with 23 seconds remaining in the penalty kill. For the North Stars, up 2-0. Back on the way into the zone come the Mustangs. Vyasov hands off the puck, and time to avoid a check. He's got to deal with Hasselhurst. Hasselhoff. <laughs> Hasselhoff. <laughs> Hasselhurst. And that puck's made it down the far end with nine minutes remaining in the first the second period. Try that. You can tell I haven't done this for nine months. Shot on net and goes past Davison out the far side. But yes, off now. Goes inside. O'Kane. That bounces off a stick or a skate there and into the corner. Now behind front and close. And Vyasov right at the net, but Davis has it covered, and don't worry, Rob Hazelhurst is there to protect him. Yeah, just like last game, I spoke yep. to um, Dane after last game, and he said that him and Hazelhurst have a bit of a running joke that he feels like he's Dave, that Dane feels like he's not doing his job when a guy the size of Hazelhurst has to stick up for <laughs> him. But he definitely still appreciates it. Yeah, the defender's job. He's just the. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Marty McSorley. I haven't. You haven't? No. <laughs> he was on basically on the line to protect Wayne Gretzky in the days uh, of the Oilers. Yeah. So, yeah, he's kind of like the Marty McSorley there. <laughs> Mini Marty McSorley. Chance for the Mustangs, and it get to a, it got to a cane, but just on the tip of his stick there from Ben Davies, and it's been picked up by Bert Malloy. He gets a nice pass away. It's just under the stick of Timmy uh, Stanger, who did get a goal last game against the Mustangs, number 11. That would have been a really great opportunity if it just stuck that, if that puck just stuck a little bit like bit better but that's okay get another one this line there tends to, tends to be a lot of really long passes with those guys on that fourth line well we've got a mix of a line at the moment we've got some changes to lines here because right now we've got tim stanger playing with sam lawson and uh and the zane jones face off one by davies mustang quick shot on it and it's gloved and smothered by Dane Davis. He does a really great job of protecting that puck. Doesn't he? He just, like, there's nothing getting past him once he's got that puck. Yep. He puts his body on the line. 
everything is there to protect the puck. And you saw that when he had that running with Lander. It's all the all the concentration is on the puck. Yes, yes. And then you have a player coming out of nowhere. Face off one by oh, the Mustangs. getting in a fight. Dropped his gloves. And is not very willing. And that's Brad Apps, I think, 21. Ferrari's still chucking him, but I think it might be just Dave Ferrari going. He's getting a bit frustrated. And Dave Ferrari's calling out the Mustangs bench. He's getting a couple of them to bite. <laughs> Humphrey's talking back. Well, that was interesting and unexpected. I wasn't watching that. I was. It just he just dropped him. He, oh, dropped, he dropped the gloves as soon as he got near that guy. Dropped his stick and he was. Well, Abs is still out there chatting to the other player, like the other North Stars. So. I, I guess they're waiting for the video replay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think um, Dave will be coming back this game. No, no, <laughs> we committed to it. Yeah, he was gone at that stage, so. Probably a five-minute major on North Stars is my guess. And it's still going on mid-ice. Who's it between now? It's Kalisikovs is getting in the face, is it? Is it Zane? No. Or Stanger? I think it's Tim Stanger. It's Tim yeah. Stanger, yeah. I want to see a replay. That's really, what I'm waiting for. Really, these players should be in the benches. So we've got a, some younger linesmen here, I think. These players should be on the benches and just leave the captains out there. Yeah. Well, you've got Malloy. So you've got Matt talking over to the ref over there. Yeah, we've got one of the assistant. Uh, we've got the Mustangs captain uh, with the North Stars assistant captains. And the players have gone back to the benches now and behaved themselves a bit. Yeah. That was like a real boiling point. I don't quite know. I didn't see any collision before them to lead to that. But yeah, there was something that... If Dave Ferrari wasn't just going for a play, there's something, yeah. some other things that had happened, and I think he was, he thought uh, Pat O'Kane had gone after him with the end of his stick. Yeah. Uh, at the blue line earlier, and that's when they had a bit of a timber swap earlier on. Yeah. Well, part of the, that's part of the game, is to really like as much as it's not encouraged, you stick up for yourself a little bit. You don't. It's just part of how you play and keeping dominance as a team, I suppose. Yeah, it could be expensive if it gives up a five-minute penalty. Oh, yeah. So, we've got Tim Stanger. Well, he's got over the penalty box. So I'm assuming he's going to be sitting for Dave Ferrari. And uh, we haven't got any penalties up on the on the uh, screen yet, but we'll let you know when we find out. Tim looks like he's settling in over there, so it may be for a little while. Yeah, he's opened up... Uh, the newspaper and has a coffee so <laughs> we've still got a bit of chat on there between Reve and sure. well Klisikov's still getting in some of these players faces so uh, they need to get on with the yeah. game or uh, it's like a mother's meeting <laughs> let's let's all talk about our feelings <laughs> it's good to see men expressing their feelings <laughs> it's a healthy thing Lucy <laughs> Maybe not like that. It. Hockey is therapeutic. Oh, yeah. It's good for the soul. Until you drop your gloves. Oh, but sometimes <laughs> that's therapeutic too, unless you get too many in the nose. All right, Pat O'Kane's going to face off here against Sam Lawson. And I think Pat's gone that. Yeah, he's got it back to, to his teammates. We're on the blue line right now. Chris Likos. Like He was enjoying getting involved in there. He enjoyed it a lot. I don't think he can afford to... Well, it was bounced off the stick. Of Paddy Ward, and we're going to stop a play. So that's, yeah, there's a five minute major up on the board, which will be for Dave Ferrari. Uh, so, a good opportunity for the Mustangs to get some back here. A long power play for them, and it's a major too, so it will not be interrupted. And it was one way, they did not incur a penalty of their own. So, the advantage is all there for the Mustangs. Robertson with the puck. Gets it through the blue line. Across it goes, but under the stick of Kalisikovs. He'll take a shot. It's bounced off on his own players. Goes back to him at the top of the umbrella. Quick shot. Go on to the blue jerseys. And Ward gets to that with some help of Sam Lawson. And we've got 4.22 to kill here for Newcastle. Goes Puck goes to North Star Sam Lawson, who will now take a change. 7.19 left in the period. So most of what's left of the period will be a power play for the Mustangs. Whether they score or not, being a major, into the zone they go. 
And Murray needs to be careful not to attract another penalty. Davies with it, number five. Gets it out, and it's out. No, it's kept in just at the blue line there. Nice work there by 89. And putting his body on the line is Liam and Murray, and that's out of play with 3.48 left of this power to kill. So you had Robertson right in front of the net just then, kind of unmarked, which led to him. His def the deflect off his stick went too high, but it was really close. If mm. he'd had that angle right, he had full access to Dane without a player pushing him out. But that's as you're on a penalty kill, you've kind of got to conserve where you're putting in that energy as well. So it's hard to overcommit to a player because you know there's someone unmarked all the time. Yep, that's the danger. Pat Naden dispatches the puck after Newcastle wins the face-off and we're at 3.40 now remaining in this power play. Mustangs at the puck. In they come and Malloy with that famous hip check of his cuts, shuts the gate on McMahon and Newcastle breaking out. We've got Pat, we've got Pat Naden into the, the Mustang zone. He's got streaking to the net. Footman wearing Malloy. Malloy, number 20. Malloy battling for the puck. He's trying to tie up the Mustangs and waste his power play on them. He comes into the net and he's calling for a change, but he's got the help of Pat Naden. So he'll get fresh legs out there in Rob Hazelhurst. Mustangs now. Down to three minutes in this power play. So they've already burned through uh, 10 minutes without a goal. And plus another two, that's 12. So they've had lots of opportunity. Humphreys. Kept outside by Lindsay. Fiasov. In close, but it's gone under the stick and just kept in at the blue line by the Mustangs. Humphreys will send it to that point. Kalisikovs will walk back and forth, gets it back to Humphreys. Kept on the outside, so this North Stars power play is being very effective at keeping it. It's out of the zone. So we're down the past the halfway point here in this penalty kill. Mustangs now, Humphreys, no look pass goes to Lindsay, but he's falling so he couldn't get it away and Kalisikovs will keep it in the zone. Cross the blue line to Davies. And that was a good chance for McCain but has bounced over the top of his stick, he's on the outside. And that's out of the zone and we've got Jane Jones breaking away, he's got to deal with Kalisikovs. He'll drive the net, now he just chips it, can't get it around Kalisikovs, it does get to Pickenin. He'll chip it away, a bit of a quick up there. And now Mustangs are throwing it down ice, they're going to get icing. So things are going well for the North Stars with this power play, must a penalty kill I should say, so far. I think really the thing that's kept us going this penalty kill for me is definitely Pat Naden. He's come out, all guns blazing, he's put so much pressure on. And we noticed in other penalty kills too, he's just really effective at kind of keeping the dominance. And even when they do have the puck in their end, pushing hard and keeping them passing amongst each other, not giving them those breakout opportunities. Mm -hmm. Whereas you see some players step back a little bit. But he's definitely been a really big contributor to that penalty kill being as effective as it has been. Yeah, he, when he does get a chance, he is full volume all the time. Yeah. And uh, it's making a difference. And it's not just erratic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's controlled power. Okay, there's a puck. Hi to his family if you're watching from New Hampshire. I know it's early in the morning over in US. Chance in front, mother by Davis. Yes, he does control the puck. And we're down to 115 of power play for the Mustangs in this major against De Ferrari. That was yeah. one of their only real, like, one of the only big shots they've had this, this, this power play for them. Mm. So it's good to see we've only got a minute 15 left, left to kill. So hopefully we can keep that dominance a bit and just keep on popping it out so they have to get out and get back in again because they do get their swing fairly well shot by the mustangs goes high uh too high to go in the net deflection attempt but it's gone to Reve and he's got some help in tommy lander he doesn't have a clean breakaway though he's got mcmahon to deal with he'll button hook and he gets it away chance for north stars coming in late shoots and scores nick Reve with a third and north stars up by three that was beautiful that was and the penalty so still not expired that was a shorty yeah that was a great pass as well though to him and he was keeping that speed. It shows a really experienced player who can come into the net with speed and get that pass really accurate because you've got to time it so you're not running into the goalie, you're not too far back, 
but you're in that right spot. Yeah, it was beautifully timed because yeah. he actually held back because he yeah. started that play up and he had the two players driving the net. Yeah. He actually held back until the opportunity was right. And you're right, we'll see it on screen now. Here he comes at the right time and fakes him out. He's great at that uh, Peter Forsberg move, luring the, the uh, goalie over and then coming around the other side. Yeah, it's like they have magnets on their stick. <laughs> it's just magic. <laughs> So there's chat going between the two benches. Oh, and th this is why we've got to change goalies. So Pickenen's being pulled. He's got the hook, and Alexi Toivonen. I was kind of surprised. I thought they might have had Toivonen in first, but big call for the Mustangs, and he gets a bit of chat from the Nostars bench as he goes past. Big call pulling their import goalie, but sometimes that's what you've got to do to spark your team. They've got one minute left of this power play against Dave Ferrari, which I assume was for major for roughing or for fighting. Ben Davies has the puck. No, it's not. It's uh, uh, Anderson. Oh, sorry about that. For Yasov now. And camped in front under the watchful eye I've been wearing is 51 Jones. Sean Jones back in. He wasn't available last game if I remember right. Malloy is dealing with three white jerseys down low and he's Pretty much taking care of it. Now Humphrey's got it now. That pass is cut off by Manwaring, who's having a cracker year this year. So both Manwaring and uh, Naden, the guys that actually went to high school in Canada to improve their game. So that is really paying off for the North Star. It makes you wonder whether maybe some of these players coming from other teams, I don't necessarily think they've mentored, because Naden and Manwaring were already really strong players, but they seem to be a little bit more strategic. Mm -hmm. And like they or have more confidence to do what they know is the right thing to do. Yeah. So it's good to see them have those opportunities with players that are there to support them. Yeah. And really give them the best opportunities they can. Back on the way. Mustangs have the puck. I believe it was Robertson. No, it was McCoy. Gets it to Ward. So North Stars with possession. Now Sheard. Send it up the right wing and it's touched by Sam Watson as it goes in. So there's no icing. He goes in for a hit. Newcastle get it. Lawson absorbs the hit as he goes through. Andrew Erzin delivering that one. And the Nui cuts off a pass, but the Mustangs do connect, and they're putting pressure in now. They take a shot, and it's an easy one for Davis to glove down. Off Pat O'Kane's stick with 2.38 left, and that's done the penalty, so what a kill for the North Stars. Yeah. Actually, kill off a major and score a goal. Who is Amazing. I think this is probably the best that I've seen the North Stars play this season. They've been really dominant, they've had effective contact, and have back-checked really hard. Yeah, and I think that's why, I mean, Mustangs haven't played badly, but they've not they've not scored on their power plays. Yeah. And partly that's because of a good power, uh, penalty kill. Uh, but also, you know, that's going to be frustrating for the Mustangs. Um, Obviously, 3-0 down at the moment. They've been very close as well, though. We've had a couple of pretty phenomenal oh, some great saves chance. by Dane. Yeah, some great chances. So they've had some great shots as well. That's part of it. There's a big chance for him now. McDowell, though, the desperate stick of Lindsay keeps him from getting a good shot away. Just lent on his stick, and he already had it out there, so it was near the puck, not near the skates. And, uh, oh, that's a bad bounce and another chance for the Mustangs, but another desperate attempt from Tessar at this time to recover the puck. Into the zone they go. North Stars, no look pass, doesn't connect. It's gone off a Mustang skate or stick. And now the Mustangs are putting the pressure on coming back the other way. Humphreys goes inside. It's cut off by, by uh, Watini, and Watini now will take it down ice. Moves inside pass. And also, once again, is intercepted. So these two teams aren't, well, they're being a little reckless with their passes, or they're being really good at forcing intercepts here at the moment. Puck bouncing around between sticks and skates. Mustangs now bring it through neutral ice and they will dump it in on Davis. He doesn't get it cleanly but it doesn't matter. It's in the corner for Hazelhurst to pick up. Naden can't handle the pass cleanly and it's going back to Hazelhurst again. He'll go across to D partner Hayden Sheard up the right wing. Gets across the red line, dumps it in. First the puck has been wearing. Tries inside. And it's out the other side, but there's just white jerseys there at the moment. Mustangs off the boards. Hayden Sheard will stop it from getting across. Desperate attempt, but eventually the Mustangs do break it through. And into the zone they go. Rattini falls, but gets the shot away. Do the Mustangs get a good save with the pads there by Davis. And that's probably a penalty, I think. Hazelhurst. I think it's a delay of game. 
the going to have to confer with the lineys, I think. It's not been called yet. No. Just a punch yes, drop. it is. It's another punch delay of game. game. Yeah. It was, it was from what I saw it was. And I don't think the rest of the lineys did, so he's been called. So two minute, another two-minute power play for the Mustangs. 101 left in the uh, period, so if they do not score here, we'll run into the third. These lines must be getting tired, though, their power play lines. If they're playing their really, like, the power play line exclusively and swapping through another line, they would be pretty fatigued by now as well. Well, that's true, but they're basically running the same two lines anyway. I haven't seen much of third line. Uh, of a third line out there for the Mustangs. They don't have as many players as Newcastle here today. Yeah. So they do, I think they've got enough for a third line. Paddy Ward slaps that out of the zone. 38 seconds remaining and ticking away here. Toivon in there falters a little as he dispatches the puck. I've never seen a goalie trick like that. Kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I always think they've well, lost those it. Big skates of theirs. They're usually pretty steady. Might have been a bit of a, 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 a gouge in the ice. Mustang sending up. We've got the final 25 seconds of this period, and there's a foot race on there. Hachok won't beat Ben Davies to it. He is a speedy little Brit. Backhanded out the zone by Lander, and a foot race now with Hachok and O'Kane. Two Americans go down as they battle for the puck and continue the battle down behind the net. Chance for Newcastle, but it's bouncing around, not taken cleanly. Now the Mustangs have some numbers coming back. Four on one. Quick shot and a save by Davis when it counted. Paddy Ward desperate to come back with Reveille working hard. Some of these guys played together last weekend for the All-Stars and that's the period. What a thrilling yeah. end of the period, Lucy. That was an awesome period. So at the end of two exciting periods, we've got 3-0 in the All-Stars way. But if I count right, that's 17 minute penalty minutes, which 16s we've seen yeah. for the Mustangs so far. Only four, I think, four or six for the North Stars. Yeah. But still, 3 0 North Stars goal, uh, as far as goals go. So. Yeah. I think you're seeing the Mustangs, the, as I've seen, we're playing a more physical game. You saw at the end of this period, they're positioning themselves a little bit smarter. Mm -hmm. So they're not getting that, they're not having that body come in the wrong side of them. So they're often still having possession of the puck. Mm -hmm. So it'll be good to see the North Stars regroup mm -hmm. and rethink their hits maybe a little bit and their contact so they are more effective because you saw in the last couple of minutes they were kind of the Mustangs had the possession still and they were just avoiding the hits and protecting themselves a bit better yep. but it's definitely an intense game okay uh, just also I believe in Sydney that uh, we've got uh, was it I think it was the Bears are up 3-0 yeah. Perth, oh, Perth, Perth Thunder up sorry, sorry. Perth Thunder are up 3-0 in Sydney so that's the only other game tonight. Uh, there are only two games at your games tonight, and only two tomorrow. Yeah. So the two games each night are at Hunter Ice King Stadium and at uh, Macquarie Ice Arena. Yeah, so, so tomorrow, tomorrow night we've got the same sort of thing. Yeah, we haven't played against Perth though. Mm. So it's really, it feels like it's with the season's been going forever. Mm. It obviously hasn't. But it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Yeah, well, it's interesting. We're still, uh, North Stars played Adelaide the last away run, but we haven't played Perth Thunder yet. Yeah. Um, and if we played the Bears at all, I don't think we have. Played the Ice sure. Dogs. Yeah, so, yeah, it's been a bit funny this season. It's not been as mixed up as you expect. But yeah, and you often see, like, we've got a whole lot of home games at the end and mm -hmm. less at the start. But in this third period, I think it could kind of go either, like, the actual possession of the period could mm -hmm. go either way because you saw the, obviously, the Mustangs were holding a lot of possession on their power plays. But as soon as the North Stars had their full line out, they held majority of possession mm -hmm. and were quite often dispossessing the Mustangs. Right. But that was just from... it's not The Mustangs are breaking out so great and were pushing so hard, but I think they're also a little bit conscious to not all go in too deep just because we've had a couple of strong breakaways and we've mm -hmm. had all of our players crashing, more players crashing into the net, mm -hmm. so they need to have more players. They're ready to react. Mm -hmm. That's just what I've seen, though. Well, they have been down most of the game too, yeah. which means the pressure has been on for them to attack. Yeah. That's probably Max, um, Max Perron. He told you to call him Max Parent. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to ask how to pronounce it, but he just said to... He's probably used to uh, English speakers messing up his name. Yeah. <laughs> He's I'll, like, I'll try and do a Steve, I'll try and do a Steve right. White and I'll go for Maxime uh, Perron, uh, no, Longier Perron. Yeah. 
That's, that's impressive. I'll try. But as an ex-player, it's really quite like phenomenal to be a head coach the following year. Yeah. So, do you know whether he did any like a lot of coaching before this? I don't know, but from what I've seen, he's doing a really good job. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and he's coaching with uh, Damien, um, uh, their goalie. Damien Holland. Dam- Damien Holland. Uh, Damien, for those who don't know, was one of the, was Australia's number one goalie for many years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So in the late nineties, yeah. uh, before the time of Al Beckin and Matt Izzy. Yeah, he was Australia's number one goalie, so yeah, okay. very good player in his time. It's good to see a coach, like an ex-goalie, be a coach as well. Yeah. You often see goalies kind of left out of coaching, and they will. I know in younger stories aren't true. They're that. very, they're very intelligent people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean goalies, like when like they're being coached. Yeah. So like le- less goalies get coached. Yeah, kind true. Of proactively. But it's so good to have a coach who is a goalie because yeah, often definitely. that's a neglected part of yeah. coaching. Yeah. So uh, one thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, we did some stats research we didn't get to talk about before the start of the game was that there's a strong cor- there's a strong difference between uh, home and away percentages. Definitely. Just quickly, Mustangs had m- had most of the games at home and only three away so far. Newcastle uh, four away. Uh, Newcastle had the opposite. Only had three at home, six away. Yeah. Um, and still North Stars ahead. Look, uh, we'll talk about more of this when we come back in the break because apparently we've got a play interview coming oh, up Matt right Wattini now. Matt ready. So we'll leave the we'll head off to the other to the other guys. It's three nil North Stars at the end of the second period. See you guys. Hi everyone, Ellie here, back for the second intermission, and I'm joined by Matt Wittini. Matt, run us through that second period. Uh, well, quickly, briefly, you guys are leading 3 uh, 0 to uh, two more unanswered goals in that second period. Yeah, run us through what it's like on the ice. Uh, we were uh, pretty disappointed with our first period. Um, you know, we gave up way too many old man rushes in that period. Uh, we spoke about that in between the first period and first second and uh, I think we counted that and you know we scored a shorthanded goal there right off the bat and uh, you know the boys are rolling. And yeah so you got Zane Jones and Nick Rivet with the two goals there and it seems like with the 3-0 like lead that the Mustangs seem to be getting a little bit frustrated or, or something as t- tensions are building and uh, there's been a couple of penalties and a bit of roughing in that second period. Uh, it's, we sort of expected that, you know, we get a 3, three nil lead. Uh, teams sort of want to chase us and try and change the momentum. Uh, so we've just got to weather that, um, you know, be disciplined and, you know, we'll, we'll score more goals on their, their ill discipline and you know, hopefully we can put a, more, a few more in the net uh, in the third period. And yeah, so what, is the, what are you looking at doing for period three? Uh, just more of the same with that uh, in the second period. Uh, you know, we, we stopped all those old man rushes except for that one there right at the end but uh, you know if we we do that just keep playing our pace I think we'll be good. Beautiful thanks so much Matt and we'll be back uh, after this game finishes with the pre-game show well our post-game show I should say.
the shot and he scores! And he drives it in, walking in, he shoots and scores! Mustangs, 12, first one! It's Rizzi, gets a shot and scores! 4-4! Oh. Four, four. <laughs> Lachlan going to the net, shoots and he scores! And towards Cox, goes to the shot away, Davis makes the save, no, it's in! Live from Hunter Ice Skating Stadium in Newcastle, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada, who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Omus. Omus are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider and APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. Welcome back, everyone, to Hunter Ice Skating Stadium, this North Stars versus Mustangs game. We've had two periods already, heaps of penalties, mostly against the North Stars, yeah. but it's a 3-0 North Stars lead. I know. We haven't been, we haven't been very well behaved, but we've been <laughs> scoring goals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so hopefully everyone pulls their heads in a bit. And we just scored goals now. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, it's that's the true. W's that count, as I've yeah. been, <laughs> I've said before, and been taking the task on. Yeah, but it is a pretty important start win. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see probably a lot of contact as we've seen the rest of the game this period. Yeah. Mustangs coming in hard, pushing for a goal. I think they're gonna if they get a goal, it's probably gonna be a bit of a bit of a knock in. Yep. Because Dane has been covering really well. All right. But uh, there's been a little, little couple of sneaky rebounds. Yeah. So they might make an opportunity out of one of those. Mm-hmm. I think there's a couple of uh, stats that stick out right now. Definitely yep. one so far in this game is penalty kills. So North Stars have killed off uh, 16 or more minutes of 17 minutes of penalties. Mustangs have only had to kill off four minutes worth and they have given up a goal in that time. Plus, the Mustangs gave up, gave up a shorty. Yeah. Short-handed goal, so the North Stars had extra credit on that one. So, uh, And the goal that the North Stars scored in the first period was immediately after the Mustangs had three power plays. Uh, so it was a large, peri- large period, a long time of uh, five and three. Yeah. So As we've said before, that might also come down to the fact that we do have nearly four lines rotating. I'm sure it's a big part And of it. yeah. they have probably two-ish, two yeah. and a half maybe, yeah. that they're really pushing through. Yeah, we haven't seen much of the third line, if yeah. any, of the Mustangs. So it will make it tough on the third because now they're down 3-0 and yeah. they, they want fresh legs as much as possible. Uh, another stat I was going to mention before uh, the end of the second period was that about the home and away differential. So uh, the Mustangs have played they've had nine games before before tonight yep. five I think of those so majority at home uh, their home winning percentage was around a bit over half maybe or around about half but their away percentage was only one out of four 25% yep. so that's something they've got to improve on to make finals uh, and, uh, they'll need to get a few goals here in yeah. the third to, uh, to rectify that well, Plus, I have uh, in Sydney tomorrow. It's interesting, interesting to see that Newcastle hasn't really been phased by home or away games, depending. Yeah, on actually, they've been stronger away. Yeah. Yeah. It may also be because some of these guys are quite confident playing at other rinks because they're yep. from other rinks. But I think they're a pretty adaptable team for the most part, even yeah. when we had gastro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, just uh, on ice, you got an on ice presentation. We had the insane play of the game, and the winner from last game against the Mustangs was Lee Manwari, who yeah. I think, I'm told won due to a bit of a social media campaign, so well done an initiative here for Liam. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets himself a big chink to take to the big check bank. Yeah. So if anyone wants to participate in the insane play of the game, a poll goes up midweek, I think it's Wednesday or Thursday, of uh, you choose Wednesday, you choose one out of three plays of what you think is the insane play of the week. And that means you also go into a draw to win a $50 cash giant check with you, with the player's face on it. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want a giant check with Liam Ben wearing his face on it? I don't know how <laughs> legal tender it is. <laughs> I'm sure there's some way around that. It was quite funny last week when we did our first one. Nick Reve was a little bit shocked. Yeah. He got out there and he's like, oh. That's I'm, me. <laughs> yeah. I've got this really big $50 note with my face on it. Yeah. So that was definitely funny. So Rob Hazelhurst is in the net, is in the uh, penalty box. He's got 58 seconds left to serve in his delay of game penalty. So twice tonight, the North Stars have 
giving away penalties when you, they've thrown it up into the netting on the fall. Yeah. So good Toy- pressure there from the Mustangs, but they haven't cashed in yet. Mm, Toivonen's still in net, so I yep. assume he'll be s- staying out for the third, and Davis is still in net So Pickenden got the hook after that third goal was scored by Nick Reve. Yeah. And it was about also, to get underway. He looked pretty gassed when he came off. He looked pretty tired as well. So. He had been getting shelled. Yeah, yeah for sure. And sometimes that's the best decision, especially with a game following the next day. Back on the way, and the Mustangs quickly on the attack off the face-off, but stop a play. 52 seconds remaining in Mr. Mr. Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff? <laughs> <laughs> he was the Hasselhoff's penalty for delay of game. Mustangs might be looking for any shot they can get now, just for the chance that it may go in. Yep, taking shots. We've seen that in the NHL. Playoffs, the Stanley Cup playoffs. Yeah. St. Jones goes back, gets the puck first, but he misses Sam Lawson on the connect, and it's the Mustangs now heading the other direction. Fresh, clean ice. Mustangs quickly take a shot, bit of a screen in front of Davis, but it's bounced off him or others and out to the corner. Klistikovs takes a shot, and it doesn't get past Paddy Ward, puts his body in the way, and the Mustangs retrieve it in the corner. Now behind the net, around the boards it goes, and passes it to the North Stars player in the end there. But Kalisikos will clean up and gets the puck to O'Kane. Didn't play last time in Newcastle, it was Brett Ferguson who had a cracker game here. Tough to call, both good fast players, as is Ben Davies. So for those skilled sort of puck handling forwards, they've got some really nice guys to choose from. Unfortunately, they're all imports to those, so... Uh, can't have all three without dropping something of your defensive call. Chance in front. Davis down. Mustangs uh, can't grab the puck in time. And it's gone loose for, is it Malloy? It is. He gets to the puck ahead of McMahon. Two Australian defensemen. Malloy does a no-look pass or shot. And it's gone to uh, Toivonen. who will cover up with 18.35. And that penalty has expired. McMahon is fast. He was just like, he just got from end to end yeah. in like a blink. I all of a sudden it's like, oh, he's right back already. But he's definitely looking to cover every opportunity he can. Shane Southwood versus Anderson for the face-off. Mustangs win it. Anderson gets to McCoy. McCoy around behind his net. Mustangs getting organised. They get across to McMahon. He'll go the right wing to Jones. Jones under pressure there, and he'll have to send, send it away with Stringer. Chance in front. Shoots and a save with the pads by Davis. Goes behind his net now for Lindsay to pick up and he'll get to it first. But Mustang's still contesting down low. They're putting on good pressure here. Battling for the park. It looks like a bit of a Mustang's power play at the moment. Shot on net and it's blocked away by Davis into the corner. 18-01 now left in this game. 3-0 still the lead for the North Stars. So the power play has expired for the Mustangs, but they're doing well against this uh, North Stars line, which... Has had a, a great year, this line. This is the, th- the uh, line with Pat and Aiden. Well, at the moment, we've definitely got Lehman wearing. And that was Pat just there at the blue line. Oh, some good body checking now from Mustangs. And that's probably what they need. Been wearing muscled off the puck. McCoy will pick it up in the corner. He'll get it to string up. And he's taking it a bad time with Men wearing coming in. He kind of had to pull out of that in case he got him from behind. And everyone's all good and there's no penalties. Hayden Shear will retrieve that puck behind Davis's net. Out to the neutral ice it goes. Robertson loses the handle and due to the forecheck of Hacharik. McMahon to Robertson. Hard pass is array is a astray, I should say, and it's gone all the way behind Davis's net for a stop of play icing call. We'll just take a quick moment to appreciate what a great week it's been for Australian ice hockey with Nathan Walker in the yes. Washington Capitals in the Stanley Cup. That yes. is so amazing. Yeah. He is our is our is he our first Australian player to be in a Stanley Cup winning team? Correct. Yeah, there yeah. was an Australian player called Tommy Dunderdale who played before there was an NHL as we okay. know. It. He played in the WHL when there was two leagues and then they joined together. Okay. So I think we're talking about 100 years ago here. Yeah, okay. Still so um, incredible. He was a guy who grew up in Victoria but moved to Canada. Oh, great play here by Jones. He's lost the handle though. He had a good chance to go backhand on Toivonen. The attempted pass to Reve goes, doesn't make it. Goes instead to Humphreys as the puck. Acharik steals the puck. Newcastle though, are going to lose it back and Humphreys gets a shot away. 
and we're going to stop a play, I think, because they're offside. Yeah, um, they're massive week in NHL this week. Uh, um, I've been a Caps fan for you know, longer than you've been alive. Yeah, uh, but uh, bandwagon guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now my I was going to say my favourite individual player has been Alexander Ovechkin. Yeah, when I he and and um, he came in, in in the lockout year. Yeah. And then Sidney Crosby got most of the press because he was the, the number one pick that year. And, I mean, he's been fantastic. But I've always liked Ovechkin's style better. So I was very happy. So I wasn't a complete bandwagoner. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, having Nathan Walker in that team, and I was very easily swayed to go after the catch. Chance! Oh, and a beauty save with a pad by Davis. What a reaction. I felt a little emotional once the Caps won. I mm. just like knowing that Ovechkin had wanted that win for so long, and they yeah. made like a video montage of every time that he's that they've just missed yeah. making like the next round of the playoffs. And it, yeah. <laughs> I felt I was like, Lucy, why are you so upset? You don't even like the Caps that much. <laughs> but it was very emotional. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've never. I had never. I mean, I definitely became a bit of a fan when they took on Nathan Walker, and they've stuck by him. I mean, they yeah. picked him up off waivers a you know, second time. And, They've had him in the Bears, so I think for that part of the support of an Australian player like that. Definitely. And Barry Trotz openly supporting that. Um, yeah, that's that's won me over. I'm definitely happy to be... They can be my East Coast team. <laughs> <laughs> and the Canucks are terrible at the moment, anyway. Just not pretend much you to don't talk go about there. them. Yeah. <laughs> Chance in front, oh, and... Picked up by Tassari, got lucky because Mustangs were all over that, and it's loose now, heading to Toivonen. Rolling puck, and he just stopped by uh, Tassari, gets a stick on it. But he couldn't control it enough to make it a scoring chance. Pat O'Kane now with some speed. Great skater and stick handler, takes a shot, and it's wide to Davis, who flashes the leather at it, and it's gone out the other side. Newcastle getting a neutral zone, and we've got a checking competition happening around the benches. It's stuck between skates, and it's picked off by Watini, and he'll try a give and go. Hamish Powell oh. slammed into the boards there. A beautiful check there by Robertson. And a man who loves to deliver him as well. And I reckon Robertson might get one back later. Newcastle swap deep pairs. It's gone to Powell who gets a touch. But it's bouncing and it's picked up by the Mustangs. Robertson, the man we just mentioned, has to get around Hayden Sheard. And Waring will send it around with a verse behind the net. And first to it, Erzin. But bounced by... I think it's uh, Hamish Powell, number eight. Yeah, he's had a rough run in the last 30 seconds. Two birthdays this week, Hamish Powell and Zane Jones. Happy birthday to them. Yes. Erzin avoids the check there of Naden, and Powell comes flying in. I told you he'd be back. And then we've got a broken stick. So these third lines are going at it, and we love that. Down low, McMahon will get the puck away to Robertson. He's got Naden streaking in towards him. He gets rid of the puck so he doesn't have to take the hit. Hazelhurst takes a shot and it's, I think it got hit. The glove of Toivonen goes high. And I've just heard from comms that uh, Bert Malloy has gone off possibly injured here. He's uh, taken some sort of facial hit to the face or jaw or something. So um, we hope he's going all right. But uh, he might be off for the rest of the game. We've got 13 and a half minutes to go, but it's a 3-0 lead. So I think if he's hurt... He'll be fine to sit it out. Newcastle chip it in. They'll check it in on. Quick shot attempt by Manwaring. And these North Stars are playing heaps of their young lines at the moment. Kept in. Manwaring gets to it first. Tries to hook up with Naden, but it's cut off by McMahon. He'll get a pass away, and Mustangs have a bit of a chance here. Humphreys has to go wide and loses it into the corner. Paddy Ward covers him. He'll dart back and forth, tries to get it in front, and it's gone out the other side. And picked up by Southwood. No, it's Reve. Oh, another big check there with Blander. I think it was against Erzin. Malloy's back. He's probably taped his jaw back on. Now he's all right. (laughs) (laughs) Malloy is a man who played, who won against North Stars in 2013 with a, a completely wrecked knee. Uh, he won that uh, those finals that final series, and I was told that his knee was big as a balloon. Oh wow! So he's not a man who will, you can stop easily. Hi to his family if you're watching. Reve tries to cut off their pass, but the Mustangs are into the zone. O'Kane takes a shot, 
and it's deflected wide by Davis. Another shot on net, and I think that one just missed. It wasn't by a lot. I think a stoppage of play will do everyone a big favour yeah, right now. This is non-stop end-to-end -end stuff. Big Jones messy. all alone. He waits. He's waiting. He's got no help. He's lost the puck. He could only hold off two or three at a time. Figasov getting the stick in there. Chance for Mustangs. The connection pass doesn't connect. Wasn't a connection pass there, was it? No, not quite. McMahon. We'll get rid of the puck before Lawson gets there. Lawson kicks it onto the stick of Tassarek. Back and forth he goes, tries the backhand. He's bumped down by McMahon with a good check. Shot and a save by Toivonen with a glove. Sheared from the blue line. 11-32 left in the third. We've got to stop a play finally, Lucy. Yeah, everyone was a bit of a hot mess just then. <laughs> I was, yeah, a bit time to time myself. Yeah, it, um, you kind of feel that the score doesn't quite reflect how hard the Mustangs are trying right now. They've had a lot of opportunities where they've just missed it. Their passes just haven't connected. So maybe they'll pick it up, but it is a bit of a shame because they are trying really, really hard and there's been some really quality passes and shots. I think the Mustangs have had a better play. Just a bit of a stick-checking competition there between Tassarik and Erzin. The play continues. So they are getting physical. It's a goal. It's a goal for the Mustangs. Yep. So, so we in close to the back door... Dane thought it had gone behind him, I think. Right, and he's turned. Just it's just come through in front of him. Mustangs get one back. So we've got 11-18 left in the third. Still plenty of game, and now it's a two-goal gap. I think our defense also lost sight by the looks of it. Yeah. I think, I'm not sure who was defending just then. I think it may have been... I'm Quick shot sure. on net. So they, yeah. So the defense thinks it's gone around, I think, and Dane's not I quite... I could see if that was the short side or the far side, the, the back door there. Anyway, it's in, and a goal for the Mustangs will help them a whole lot. And I think you're right, Lucy. We're just talking about how they've had the better period. I think they've played a better third period than the North Stars. Yeah. They've had definitely lots of good opportunities. They've been really desperate but also controlled in their attack. And, yeah, it's been more well, the other way that they've been pressuring the North Stars than the other way around this You period. see that um, typically North Stars don't play as well of a desperate game we, we, t we tend to play a little bit better tend when to we're, apart, we're under, under pressure yeah <laughs> sometimes but they t tend to play a little bit better once they're really kind of level headed well Mustangs have stepped up their checking uh, that's definitely. something I've noticed in this period and it's so helping them a lot I assume Max has definitely put the he's been saying that that's quite an important part of this third period and even if you don't get the win it's just about asserting some dominance sometimes for the following games here's Hazelhurst with a bunch of speed Driving in towards the net, he gets a pass inside, but it's a bit oh. tough one for Watini to take. Hazelhurst streaking to the net, but he's going to have to double back because he's got Mitch Humphreys with a burst of speed. Hazelhurst is quicker and does make it there, and that's off a stick oh. and in. That was a home goal. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Oh, man. I think that was even an attempted pass from one of the North Stars. It's gone off a stick or skate and in past Davis, so... Unfortunate for the North Stars, and that's given the Mustangs a taste with 10.36 left in the game. Yeah, they, this is kind of what happened last game, where North Stars had thought they'd really secured that lead. Here's the replay right now. I'm pretty sure it was a home goal, this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. There He's was just a gotten that Mustangs play. A beautiful pass. connect, then. The pass has gone right on the stick. Because what's happened earlier as well is that... Um, I don't know who it was defending, but one of the defenders lost their feet a bit. Yeah. So as he went to back up, he's kind of lost his feet, four half fallen over. Mm. Hazelhurst is still on his way back. So they didn't quite have the right setup they needed to have to stop that player. We've got a timeout. I'm not sure who called it. I thought it might have been North Stars. Yeah, okay, it's the North Stars have called it. And that's probably a good thing. I need to settle things down here. They had been leading... Yeah, well, one minute ago, they were up 3-0, and now yeah. they're up by one goal. So they do need to settle things down. Uh, they have been under pressure, as we mentioned, for a while, and uh, they need to get the game organised. Come out like we did in the first and second. Yeah, I guess um, we've been talking about Mustangs have been hitting more, and that's making a difference, breaking up the North Stars game. Uh, maybe it's a change of lines, I'm not sure. They need possession, North Stars need possession. They also yeah. probably need, if they had possession, they might force some penalties, and that'll really put the Mustangs in, under, pro, under pressure. Yeah. So we've not, they've not done that in this third period, and um, they've been massively um, uh, disadvantaged, mostly f from their own actions in, in penalties this game.
back in the way and Klisikos has the puck. He'll dispatch it to O'Kane into the zone. He'll go. Waits nicely timed. Gets the pass away, but it's smothered by Davis with 10 11. Probably 10 16 left in the period. One goal lead, 3 2 now. We look like we've gotten back into our normal lines again. So all the players are back in their proper lines, and that might be just to kind of maybe hopefully get another goal under our belt and get the ball rolling again. Well, that will change the game, but at the moment, the, the uh, momentum is with it. Mustangs. Yeah, for sure. That was part of why they called the timeout. But Mann will try to connect with someone in front, but it's been chipped out by the North Stars, and that's going to be icing called. Just an update from Sydney, Macquarie Ice Rink. We've got the Bears and the Thunder. The Thunder leading a 3-1, so the only recent goal from the Bears, but the um, home team still behind. Mustangs are definitely trying to get a lot of changes under the way now. Ten minutes is a long time to only run two, to continue to run two lines, so you don't want to be out there for too long. Tommy Lander dives in front of that puck, and he took it. Oh, it might have even even been around the neck area. It's, you wouldn't notice. <laughs> He's kind of invincible. He reminds uh, me of the Terminator a little bit. Uh, he reminds, I was watching a movie last night with the character Colossus, a Marvel movie. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bit like that. Yeah. He's, like <laughs> he's got that uh, European accent. Oh, here he comes now. In oh, front, scores! Oh. oh, my God, what a goal by Hatcharik. That was And amazing. what a pass. Right in front of us here. And, wow, that was a gorgeous goal. And M Malloy and Rufaya give it to Robertson. I think he kind of asked for a little bit. Yeah. He, he came in during that He came in during the celebration and chipped a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Malloy wasn't going to have any of it. That was so well planned, though. You can tell that that practice is really playing. That really was a gorgeous off. pass. And you saw... And it was by the Colossus himself. Yeah. You saw how happy those boys were once they got it in. Yeah. You could see Hacharik just beaming with his lack of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> He's only missing one. Just no. One good one in the It's front. just a very dominant tooth. <laughs> <laughs> but to score while falling, that's awesome. All right, back on the way. And... <laughs> Everyone's falling over. It's like uh, Tempin bowling here. Sam Lawson. Oh, there it goes again. Took out two. And Humphreys is collided. And both players a bit slow getting up here. That's Jones and Humphreys. And Jones is heading off. And he's having trouble oh skating. Oh, no, not his knee again. Yeah, he's hurt his knee again. Hopefully it's not a bad one. Humphreys back in the action. But Jones is not. Mustangs putting pressure down low. Into the zone they go slowly. We've got a substitution on now uh, for Jones as Naden is bumped off the park and a bit of stick chopping, a bit of wood chopping going on and he's been called for a Brad Apps. He's done a good job of uh, kind of doing what um, what uh, young Jamie would do. Yeah. He's getting under people's skin but he was caught out on that one. Um, have a bit of a putting some wood on Pat and Naden. So for, for a fan who went around last year, Zane Joan missed a fair chunk of our season last year because yeah, of Yeah, about uh, more than a third of the season, I guess about 40% of the season f from his right knee, and that was the one he was hurting then. So Bradley Apps is in the box for two minutes, it looks like. Correct. And I assume it's a slashing call. Is out. Pat Naden spins and fires. Malloy takes the opportunity for a play to hit on Erzin, and it was a good one. Playing some forward now with Jones off the ice. The blue line, Reve, that's off a Mustang stick and bounces Hacharik. Erzin, though, loses his footing. Hacharik gets it across. Reve will have to pick it up at full stretch, though, and that shot is high. Hacharik avoids the check. Coming with a head of steam is Davies, Erzin. And bodies are flying here, and Malloy is laying a lot of the hits. Okay, takes a shot, and it's knocked down and smothered by Davis with 8.06 left in the game. There's definitely a little bit of tussling going on. Yeah, the emotion's building up in this game. It looks like Davies... looks like there's blood on his face, but it could just be facial hair. <laughs> So there's 121 of power play left for the North Stars. 
Well, Louis the third power play of the game. Big hits, but also smart hits. They're not too reckless, and he's pretty, he's pretty thoughtful to make sure he doesn't get called as well, which is good. To the blue line. Mustangs have the puck. Shot on it and covered. Stopped and covered by Davis. They had a two left now in the period. Dane's had a pretty stellar game considering he had that big run in at the start with Landar and a couple of really heavy hitting Mustangs coming in on the goals. And a lot of them have been standing within, have been screening him fairly well. So it's, it's like really incredible reflexes. Underway now. Sorak up the left wing. So looks like Zane Jones is back on the bench. I, I think it's probably best he doesn't skate this game if there's any rare chance of uh, injury to knee. We'll just hopefully see if this is a short term thing or not. Oh, oh a trip there and not picked up. So Stringer got away with one there. Accidental. Stick under the skate. But uh, usually that's worth two. Across the blue line, Ward shot on net and a save by Tovenen. Tovenen came from um, Canberra. Played, oh yeah. Played for the Brave last year. So has he moved to Melbourne? Do you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Richie was waving his arms in the air. Where's my penalty? But <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Doesn't usually uh, work like yeah, that. That's <laughs> it. He doesn't get called. <laughs> to the blue line, Paddy Ward hands it off. He gets it back. Been worrying there at the half boards. Shot on it, tries the back door. And to Sarek. Doesn't get the shot and Twivenen's playing it really well as well. He's doing great. Very yeah. composed, especially seeing he's come in mid game and yeah. mid period. So he didn't get any time to warm up really. He's been standing on the bench, <coughs> but he's come out really on it. He's only given up the one goal and that was a Yeah, that was pretty solid. It was one goal. that you wouldn't expect any goal of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So he's been very solid for him. Well, look, he and um, he was sharing 50 50 the goal, the goal tending with the Brave. And okay. They've, they've made finals several years in a row. So he's, yeah. he's a dual national Finn Australian. He's absolutely good enough to play as a starting goalie for the Mustangs. Two number eights going at it here Erzin and Powell. Hazelhurst to Hacharik. Tries, this, tries the back door to Reve, but it's the Mustangs in possession, and Patter came with a head of steam. Oh, Hazelhurst. Hazelhurst with a tactical move there to get in there, and a big burst of speed. He guns, wins. He's a Terry. He's got the puck back. He's going in alone. Now he's going to look for the back end. No, nope, he's going to go with the button hook. Off to Powell. Absorbs a hit by Davies. Stick broken. He'll have to leave it behind. Close to Kos. Carries the puck. Long pass onto the stick there of Brad Apps. Back on the ice. He had that last penalty. Davies down low. Uh, against Hazelhurst. And Hazelhurst will win the puck and he'll chip it off the boards for his D man to finish the job. Mustangs. Okay. Kane. Such a great turn. Such a tight turning circle. Quick shot on it. It's in the glove of Dane Davis for a stop and play. 6 one left in the game. It's a 4-2 lead, Lucy, for the North Stars. Yeah. So we've got... So after that... I can't think of what the word is when they had the timeout. It seems that everyone's kind of gotten their heads back from the North Stars. Mustangs are still going hard. Yeah. And they're pushing really, really hard for that goal. But also a bit of fatigue's probably sitting in now as well. Could be. Could be. Well, we'll probably see fatigue in, in mistakes. So we haven't really seen that yet. So no. they're fit guys. and uh, But it could happen. Quick stuff of play because a stick was left on ice, which I think was Hamish Powell's. He's going to check it out and see if it's okay. It's definitely broken. <laughs> Lucy says it's broken. It's dangling around. <laughs> it's not in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Shot on it and another save by Davis. That one with the blocker. Mustangs trying to set up. Bit of desperation here. We might see uh, a long way from Tyvon being pulled. 5.43 left. Another stop of play. That was close. But they are definitely putting, throwing out everything on the ice to try and get a goal. Yeah, you're often seeing the Mustangs players not typically sit in that slot area, but sneak in from behind the goal at those right times. So they've got, they've got that guy who sneaks in front of Dane before either of our defenders really notice and tries to get that knock in. 
also Zane Jones is back. So we're all very happy to see that. Is he on ice? Yep, yep. there he is. Okay, so he's shaking that off. He might have had it taped up. Uh, have the physio look at it. Sometimes they can just twinge a little funny as well. Yeah, I know so that feeling. That's it. <laughs> I know that feeling very well. Yeah, I have a knee injury where sometimes if I just kick the side of it, if I uh, bump my foot against something uh, on the side of the foot as opposed to the front, yeah, yeah, it hurts for a long time. Yeah. yeah, it's bad. So I can understand that, and it's probably an injury he'll have for the rest of his life. He might have to deal with. So. Did he have surgery? Okay. Yeah, no surgery. I don't think he did. No. No, but it was. It takes a good period to uh, to heal. Yeah. Torn fibers and all. Mustangs are pushing hard to get that puck back in the zone. And he's pretty determined right now. He's driving the net. Takes it, gets a shot away and drives the net. And narrowly avoids putting his chin on the, uh, the bar as McMahon has him covered. Lawson also going hard at the net. Goals are scary things to run into. Um, they hurt. One of the players that plays for Australia from... Uh, um, at Newcastle, Shanita Crompton, playing for the women's team a few years ago, yeah. ran into the goals when they were playing. In a, I'm, not, in here. I'm not sure where, but they're actually screwed in there. So as ah, she hit yeah. the goals, she broke ribs. She yep. had some serious, serious injuries. Yeah. Well, Pat Naden, I was when Pat Naden was a kid and I was coaching him here. He fell over and ran into the uh, into the <laughs> post at the far end where Dane Davis is right now. Same yep. post, and it broke his leg. Oh. Just sliding across the ice, couldn't stop, <laughs> and broke his leg. Yeah. Even fast when he's sliding. Yep, just sliding. It was still fast enough to break it. And it didn't seem that fast. We were surprised. He got up and played for another few minutes afterwards, and he was, it was painful, so he went off. And oh, then he wow. X-rayed it, and it was broken. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> didn't make him feel very good as a coach. <laughs> yeah. Bad coaching, Pete. Yeah. I wasn't... There was two of us. Not looking after the kids. <laughs> I'll, I'll share the blame with uh, Scotty Schaffron, who's... Is he here tonight? He usually is. Luckily, you haven't ruined Pat's career no, as a hockey no. player. No, no. He seems to be going fine, so I'll take credit instead. Yeah. <laughs> Newcastle had the puck. He's coming into the zone. Hachari digs around a little bit, but he's lost the puck, and Robertson just shovels it out for Mitch Humphreys to pick up. And he goes into the zone, and he's checked pretty nicely, just with a little shove there from, is it Patty Ward? No, it was Rick Ray. But he was just telling at the time, it was a little awkward for him. Boom, behind the netting goes Stanger and Erzin. Two guys that like to lay the body. Apps with a shot. Oh. Into the body there, and he gets another one. And it's, I don't know if it hit the glove, but it's gone over the top of the net. 4.05 left. They're down by two of the Mustangs. Setting it well in front of the North Stars net. So they're still putting the pressure on. Definitely their best period of the game, this one. And Mustangs are camped out at the moment. McMahon can't get through the screen. And Davis has got it covered as well. Another one into the body. So the North Stars are getting peppered here by Pucks. And they're taking a few like hits. And they can't be able to change. Another chance for the Mustangs that's kept in the zone. So great pressure for Melbourne. They are looking close to scoring here. Unless Newcastle can do something. Get it out of the zone. Get a change. They are tired. They are pinned down. McMahon gets it down low. Mustang setting up. Mustangs haven't had a chance to change either, so they'll also be a bit fatigued. Clips the cobs at the blue line, but it's McMahon. Takes a shot. Oh Loose. No. Save. Covered up by Davis, I think. Yeah, we're going to stop a play. The whistle's gone, so that's what... Place Davis, them laying uh, on Davis the and Davies... Sandwich, pile up. That was really, really scary. <laughs> it was close. They so, both teams need to change. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure what it was. We'll find out. But number five, Ben Davis. Possibly goal ben interference. Davies. It could be. Uh, we couldn't see there at the far end from us. But uh, that's a blow for the Mustangs because they're down to 2.55 and we've got, they've got a two-minute penalty. So unless there's some even up, they're going to be a man down when they need to be a man up. It's important to um, note that Newcastle were really strategic as they were getting caught up. They often saw all five North Stars towards the middle and all of the Mustangs around the outside. They, so have, it was they have done a great job. Really, really well done. Yeah. 
And that's been their play this year. Yeah. 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 Uh, Ray Sheffield's their defensive coach this year, so we have to give credit to Ray on that one. It's working very well for him. North has a fa- have the face-off there on the power play. Reve with the puck. Jones in front of the net. Tasarik fakes, Ooh. waits, and it's gone through the other side. It was trying to connect with uh, the man in the middle, which was Malloy sneaking in. Tasarik now in. Instead, going the far side. Reve shoots, saved by Toivinen, and covered up. McDowell and Erzin there desperately trying to hold that puck down. Mm, Toivinen was quite far out then. Yeah, that's what you got to be. dangerous, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is a bit of a risk, but he had the right side covered. Did a good job. Yeah, quite similar to how... Um, Wow, so just hearing that Bears were down 3 0 and they've clawed their way back. That was not an intended uh, pun, by the way. <laughs> um, into the game, it's 3 all. Just about a minute or so to go. Toven and now. Oh. Can't get rid of that puck. He's get some help from Vyasov. Newcastle still have possession. In front, close to oh Sarek. Can't goodness. get away quick enough. And Toven with a great save goes across to cut it off. Jones, 2.15 to go. To Sarek in the right place again. He's so good at getting in those danger places. But Yasov, no. He's going to go up the left wing and Toivonen and heads to the bench. So the extra man. Chance in front. And it's saved by Davis. Yes! Well done. And a broken stick for Vyasov as well. Extra salt on the wound. With 2.01 left in the game. And the Mustangs have pulled their goaltender. And they have 1.06 remaining. Toivonen has really... Held like that, he held those goals there. Yeah, in that last couple of minutes, pushed really, really hard. He's had an excellent game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's a shame he doesn't get more ice time. I don't know whether they typically share it, but I haven't not, seen I mean, him play. I mean, Petri picking in is, is a great goalie, and when he was yeah. here a few years ago, he was awesome. So, I don't, I'm not surprised the Mustangs are using him. Yeah. But I think from what we've seen tonight, I wouldn't be surprised if Toivonen starts and they, if they've got him here, they'll play Ben Ferguson as yeah. well. Yeah, because uh, it gives you a good chance if you're possibly, like if your goalie's a bit fatigued, you're a little bit down, you can pull, um, what was his name, sorry, the other the the other goalie? goalie? Petri, uh, Petri Pickenen. Yeah. yeah, so you can pull him and put the other import out yes, as a forward yes. and possibly get more scoring opportunities. That's right, yeah. And for what we've seen tonight, it seems possible. If, I don't know if Ben Ferguson is with him. I didn't see anyone, any plays yeah, in I'm cities sure, over there. So we might not be with him tonight. Being that um. So it looks like there's been some penalties called or something because there's been a discussion between the Stripes and now they've gone to the Mustangs bench. And Max doesn't and Max look very happy. And Max is quite unhappy. Is that angry? I don't, I don't know if I've really heard... A really angry French person before that. So you haven't. No. You haven't, you haven't many, met many French people then. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently not. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm just thinking they're always kind of angry. No, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that though. There, there's different cultures too. You got the, yeah. the French French and the Quebecois. Yeah. So. He's definitely. I'm not sure what the call is, but he's definitely not happy with it. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. Not going to change anything. Darren uh, Huddy Hawkins made his call and uh, we're about to get underway. It's important in this league to back to back your calls as well. If you make a mistake, you got to live with it. Yeah. I mean, you got to stick with it. Yeah. You don't just make a call and then change it. So. There's no video replays here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or coach challenges and that sort of stuff. But I, don't, I hadn't seen that with the NHL. Um, but they had the coaches challenge last night where they... Okay. Uh, yesterday, we were the um, coach used his timeout as a challenge against the no goal call. Okay. And it turned out to it didn't stand like the goal. Uh, it didn't work. They didn't reverse the decision. But it was an interesting um, change of rules. Oh, they've now got three in the box. So that would be that would box. be what the uh, the frustration was was uh, from Paul. Yeah. It's a rough ending to the game for the Mustangs. Back on the way, and North Stars with a 5-on-3, so great opportunity for them to score. They're up by two. Acharik tries the back door. Tessarik, Tessarik cannot get it away. It's hard to switch from Acharik to Tessarik. Yeah. Because you want to say Tessarik. 
At least it's a bit easier that Dave Ferrari isn't on the ice because I can't get him mixed up with Nick Ravey. Yeah, and they, they do. Because they kind of look like twins. They do look a lot alike, a lot, yeah. Especially when they've both got a bit of facial hair. Yeah. Yeah. They've got quite similar builds as well. Exactly, yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have numbers that are similar. Yeah, that's To the blue line, Ravey now. He's out there with Malloy, who goes to the puck now. Jones in front of the net. He's battling with McMahon. Goes to Hachok. Back door, hey! scores! That was beautiful. Tic tac toe. How Jarek will do the coup de grace and give the North Stars a 5 2 lead with 137 left. And that was what the Mustangs didn't want. They're down. They really wanted to pull the goalie. Instead, they've had a 5 on 3 against. And they get up a goal. That goalie didn't have much chance of nah. getting that one, though. No, was especially with a good set play like that. Yeah. But it shows that at least. Strategies paying off for the North Stars. Well, they're finishing on their power plays, um, which the Mustangs, I don't think they scored on any of their power plays tonight. The yeah. goals that they had were 5-on-5, five five, if I remember correctly. So that's something the Mustangs will need to fix up because they had heaps of opportunities but didn't get um, any goals that I can remember on power play. This may be a reflection of them playing it away ice again, though. Yeah, it could be. It could be. It, Newcastle ice is very different. Um, I'm told from the players and f just from chatting to lots of them that this is the hardest ice of all the AHL rinks. Yeah. Uh, the fastest ice, like the puck moves the fastest. And I think There's no puddles. <laughs> oh, there can be, but not very much. Less it dries so. pretty fast. Yeah. Um, back on the way. And we've one minute, down to one minute left. And quite happy to, to uh, waste time is Hasselhurst. Hasselhurst gets it to... I think it's Lehman Warren, yes. And Pat Nade. So we've got the youth line out there with Sam Lawson. Lawson, backhand, saved oh. by Plevenen. That's out of the zone. And Hazelhurst has apps for checking. It's gone to Lawson. Hazelhurst now brings it forward into the zone. They go. G He's gets give and go. Goal. Shoots at a save by Plevenen. Oh. The rebound can't be put away by Hazelhurst. Anderson will chip it out. And bouncing down ice to Davis, who will play it instead of diving on it. That was a really awkward length to go or stay. Or it was. It was a tough call. Do I uh, jump on it and smother it, or do I wait, or do I let the defence try to get yeah. to it, the defender? Six seconds remaining. This will be a win for the North Stars. And I think that's five in a row for the Mustangs. So this is a tough one for them tonight. And hopefully there's no funny stuff. No, nope, the players have had enough. So a 5-2 win in the end for the North Stars against the Melbourne Mustangs here at Hunter Rice Skating Stadium. So, yeah, final score 5-2. Uh, the North Stars had that 3-0 lead earlier on, Lucy, and yeah. they followed it through. Uh, we had a change in the game there where Mustangs got two back within well, about 30 seconds of play. Yeah, they came Many out close. hard ready to score those goals. Yeah, yeah but that one that by uh, Hacharik soon after made it really hard for the Mustangs to come back yeah. in. Yeah, those penalties were definitely a bit of a downfall for the Mustangs in those last couple of minutes because mm. you've just got plays from the North Stars out there where you don't have, like, you need to cover all of them to be effective and they're going to find a pass, they're going to find a corner to get it to and they've been practicing getting those sneaky little shots that there's really no way of stopping it. Yeah, that's right. When you get it, when you get to move a goaltender side to side, yeah, uh, that um, it be no longer it becomes the goaltender's fault, really. They've yeah. done that. They can only cover one side of the yeah, net. Yeah, definitely. Their size versus size of the net. Obviously, if you can get it to goaltender move, you can get in the back door. But they're hard to do. Yeah. They take skill, and of course, it helps when it's a five-on-three. But remember, <laughs> the power plays that the Mustangs have had. They had their opportunities over on the game. Yeah. So, um, so we can't say it was all one and lost in those last couple of minutes. It was yeah. just kind of concluded at that point. Yeah. The Mustangs still played pretty phenomenal, though. Like, it wasn't a... It doesn't... The score doesn't really reflect, like, the standings of the game. The yeah. Like, yeah. they were trying hard. They were getting passes in. And they were doing the best they could to really get it in there. But it just didn't quite didn't quite pay off, which was a shame. Well, they're going to uh, have a big game tomorrow. I think it's the Ice Dogs they play tomorrow in yeah. Sydney at Macquarie. Ice Dogs have been a good team, and I think they'll be better now because they've been away a lot. Um, now they're going to get a big home. They've got a massive home run at the end of the season. Uh, so that's going to be a, a tough 
game for them tomorrow. It's interesting. But, uh, you've they got, need that win. Um, their coach, the Ice Dogs coach here tonight, possibly scoping out the um, Mustangs a bit. See oh, what it's like. Andrew's here Andrew tonight. Andrew Petrie is here yep. tonight. Okay. He's here watching the game. So he also lives nearby and may have just wanted to come watch some hockey. But yeah, good game to watch. Yeah. But it's also, he may be looking at what they're going to be lining up to do tomorrow. Yeah, could be. Well, let's wrap it up. We've got a five to win here for the North Stars against the Mustangs. Tough loss for the Mustangs. I think it's five in a row. So it makes their season a little precarious. They need to win tomorrow. Yeah. And for the North Stars, uh, that's going to put them up, I think, around second place, depending on how that should. It looks like we're going to shoot out in Sydney with the Thunder and... Uh, uh, the other uh, against the, the Bears, Bears tonight. Yeah. Yep. Now tomorrow night we swap. Um, we get the Thunder here. So join us tomorrow night for that game. Yep. And of course the Mustangs are in Sydney with the place at Ice Dogs tomorrow. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. Whether you're watching from uh, here in Newcastle and Melbourne, or anywhere across Australia or worldwide, we know we've got this is. Yeah. I think we've got some people watching from um, Eastern European countries or uh, some maybe from well. Latvia. Yeah, people yeah. Uh, messaging us. Thanks for those messages. We hope you enjoyed tonight's coverage of this AHL game. In the end, it was the Newcastle North Stars home team with five and the Melbourne Mustangs too. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, everyone. And uh, good night from us here at Hunter, Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. See ya.